Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Everything is okay. I should calm down. Oh no, it is almost night and she is yet to deliver. How can I calm down? Like I said, my king, please calm down. She is not in there all alone. The royal nurses are there with her. Besides, if there is anything wrong, the head nurse would have brought back words to us. I suggest we pray for her successful and healthy delivery too. Something in me, you know. Something in me is telling me that we should have taken her to the hospital for this very delivery. And you would have succeeded in making it impossible for that son to ever rule in Amanat. Royal sons and daughters must be delivered in the king's abode where the staff of the kings is domiciled. Anything to the contrary will ruin the child's spiritual connection to the ancestors of Amanato. On her way now, but I am just very, very worried. <sighs> Your Majesty, I suggest you take some drink to calm yourself down. Not when I am this bothered. How can you be talking about drink in a moment like this or no? My wife has been in there for hours. Nothing is happening and you're talking about drinks. Your Majesty, please calm down. If you're this bothered, what? Then what the lesser beings do? Uru, I have been calm all day. It is night already. The sun has set and she is yet to deliver. Can't you understand that everything is not right? Are you hearing that? It's your magic. That's crying of a baby. Even that's cry of a baby. Come on, baby, go on. Uh, uh, please tell us it is good news after all these long hours. Of course, I bring good news. Your Majesty, elders of Amanato Kingdom, congratulations. It is a boy. Hey! Oh, I'm okay. A boy! A son? Yes, Your Majesty. A boy. A prince. You now have an egg. Hey! Oh, no, we got it. Oh, no. My son is here. It is time. You know what to do. Very well, Your Majesty. The gods have been merciful enough to bless me with a son. The last thing I want is to complicate the future of my kingdom. I owe it to him to protect him. He is all I have and I'm going to give him my all. Gods of our land. 
You may have to curse me for the action I am taking now. But it is the best for everyone and for the stability of my kingdom. You don't need to be afraid that much, okay? We'll soon be there. Let's go. But I wonder why the king would want to see me in the middle of the night. And in a place like this. Mash, you don't need to worry yourself. Have you forgotten that the king tells me almost everything? He also told me how you were screaming the last time. So I, I feel that he wants to have you here where your mourning will not be attracting any attention. Hmm? Just imagine the kind of things you discuss with the king. Please, let's go. But look like a wait. I can't find the king anywhere. Where is he? <gasps> Ah. Ah. Oh, baby, do you have to do this? Do you have to kill a pregnant woman? The gods will judge you. Ah. Ah. Mashi, I'm very sorry. But I pray that the gods will forgive me for this sin. What sort of dream is this? What sort of dream is this? My prince, why are you running? Are you okay? My prince, my prince, you need to come now. You need to come and stop your father, the king. Stop him from what? Please, What's going please. on? There is a very big problem downstairs. You need to come with me right now. Let's go. No, please. Calm down. Wait, wait, wait. You are asking me to calm down? Did I just hear you well? I should calm down? How can you say that? Enough of this, enough. Don't say that again. It is not enough that she has decided to insult my personality by destroying the reputation and the image of this family. That's not enough to you. And you sit before me now to tell me to calm down. What kind of father will calm down in a situation like this? Who is that father? Stop! What's going on, father? Why are you keeping calm? 
So you should the person who understands this more than everyone else. Can you please tell your son here what this your useless daughter has done? Can you talk to him? You cannot say anything. Well, this your useless sister here is with a child. Princess Mirabel, is it true? Like you're pregnant? Huh? I love him, father. If you say that again, if you see the way I will slap you, I will forget the fact that you are my daughter and I will slap this, this demon off your head. What do you know about love? No, how can you say that before me? Finally, you decided to fall in love. And of all the men of Amalato, you didn't see any. But a, a useless bricklayer? What an insult! He is not just a bricklayer, father. He's a hard-working builder. I don't just know why you don't love him. I don't love him. I thank God you know that I don't love him. And I will never love anybody who has no class. Now, if you were thinking that by giving him yourself to carry his side, will make me start loving him. You have another thing in common. Nyala, talk to me. Have a woman. Mother, don't you dare. What were you thinking? Men of repute, class, extreme wealth came asking for your hand in marriage. You turned all of them down. Look at Obina the other day. Prince Obina. Your older sister's brother-in-law came to ask for your hand in marriage. You said no. Only for you to rub off your royalty like this. Did you think about your father? No, but did you think about what he will say? What example are you setting for the people of this community? How could they see us? You even open this your stupid mouth to tell your father you love him? I love him, mother. Oh, shut up. I've told you before to shut your mouth. Is love enough? Is love enough for, to, for you to do this? To bring this insult our way? What were you thinking? I think you've lost your mind. To condescend this law to bring this shame upon us. You didn't stand before your father to say, I love you. Are you stupid or something? <laughs> Now, I don't care what people might think. I don't know where he might be as we speak, whether he is sick and on a sick bed. I want him brought here now. Yes, Your Majesty. Father, you can't just do that. I can. And I have done it already. Listen, I have to set an example with that young man so that nobody in this kingdom will ever, for whatever reason, take this family for granted ever again. But the young man is not the only one at fault. Princess Mirabel took some decision. Are you going to punish her as well? They're just beating about the bush. What are you saying exactly? Do nothing until we hear from all the characters involved. Yes. You can't just sacrifice him based on the altar of ego when he could be your last resort. And what do you mean by that? Father, my point is simple. You shouldn't make a hasty decision like this because it might impose threat on so many things in the future. Gone are the days when kings can comfortably execute people and nothing happens. We now have a constitution that guarantees a lot of freedom. Because we live in a glass house, we must not throw stones. <laughs> You are a woman like me. I know you will understand me better than father and brother. Mirabel, there is nothing to understand in this matter. You have inflicted so much pain 
on your father, the king. And I doubt if he will ever forgive you. Hmm? Mother, that is where I want you to come in. Please help me beg him. You are his wife. He will listen to you. I love him, mother. Can you do me a favor and stop saying that? Is that a song or something? It makes your father angrier. Can you just stop? But mother, that is the truth. I cannot deny him now. Now listen and listen, God. You must do what you have to do. Go to your father and humbly explain everything to him. No matter how angry he is, he's still your father. But don't ever say that. This is your song. Keep it to yourself. Because your father, I know, will never understand. I don't know why you're just getting me irritated. I love him, I love him. Are you the only person that has, has ever loved someone before? Please. In all honesty, there is nothing anyone can do about it now. Yes, he's the king. And from what I gathered, he has sealed the arrest order with the seal of our mamati. And there is nothing anyone can do to reverse it. Yes. Please, mother, you have to come with me downstairs. Now, please. What is it? My father has arrested Okudli and they are flogging him downstairs. He should not be in this pain. Mirabel, this matter is already very complicated. Like I told you earlier, there is nothing anyone can do about it. Mirabel, allow your father to douse his anger. Flogging will not kill Okudli. He will not die. No man dies out of flogging. Mother, you cannot be here without doing anything. You know the kind of a father you have. Trust me, he will come around. Father, what did you do? I did what every responsible king every responsible father should do. And that is take a credible decision for the children. You have a problem with that? Father, I have a big problem with that. That young man now lives in fear and will cost it. Trust me, that would make him give up. Yes. You are Ezor Fiana Sonkata. A great king. A wise king. You should know better. You should live by example. You should live by your name. That is the more reason that young man is supposed to know that there is nothing that will ever make it possible for a daughter of mine to end up with a papa like him. Father, there is nothing you can do about this. She has already made her decision and she's pregnant with this child. Father, these are delicate moments. You should know when to stop. You sound so weak. For the prince. Is this how you are going to rule when I am gone? Father, I will rule having the interest of my people and this kingdom of hearts, especially my father. I will never jeopardize the interest of this kingdom at the expense of my anger. You are a wise king, Father. You should know what to do. What are you doing to You are going to lecture me now? But I'm not lecturing you. I'm sorry if my voice conveys the wrong message. But my point is, are we going to disown our own because of her choice? She might be my elder sister, fine and good, but she's still a baby at heart. Let's respect her decision and support her. We cannot disown her because of her choice. You find the man unworthy. To her, he's the best man in the world. No, 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 no. So finally she decides to test love for the very first time 
and the only person she remembers is a pauper, and you're supporting her? A woman in love is like a blind woman. Yes. To Ross, he is unworthy, he is a pauper. To her, her heart lies with him. Father, let us support our own. Please. Well, I need you to go back to that your sister and educate her on what being a member of royal family means. Royal members do not appeal to the sense of emotions. We don't appeal to the whims of emotions. Everybody who is a member of the royal family should be able to understand that royalty requires a lot of expectations and a lot of sacrifices. Father, you are right. I know we are royalty. And royalty demands a lot. We live for people. But at the same time, love is something we can't control. It's a matter of heart. You find that man unworthy. Reasons best known to you. But it's her decision. You can't kill her or certainly kill the love of her life. Because you find the man on board. No. Let's give them a chance. Let's respect her decision. Please. Father, like I said, you are a great king. I know you must find a way or better ideas to settle this so that it won't get out of hand or better still ruin my sister's reputation. Please. a lot coming into my head but my only problem right now is that I do not have the funds to follow up on my plans I don't and if any of those plans is leaving a man at all for the city then I suggest you have a rethink the police people are killing innocent men and women and the authorities are saying nothing about it please though it's better we stay in the village <laughs> Madam, please off it. Off, off. It's okay. I want to say this. Come on, let me help you. Come on, help me now. Never join issues with me. Wonders shall never cease. Did you see that girl? If I had been told that she's related to Ogebu, I would not believe it. Me too, Muka. Me Hi. too. Did you, did you see how she was looking? Do you so tattered and so unkept. Like someone who has been in the palace dungeon since the beginning of time. Ah. I don't get it. Why does Onowu's wife treat her so badly? Is she not her sister's child again? If you ask me, who do I ask? My sister. Everyone in this village sees it. Why don't you think magic? She's just behaving like a passenger of life, like a sojourner looking for treasure and doesn't want to be seen. Do you blame her? Do you blame her? If you're treated half as much as she's been treated, you will feel pretty much the same. But I wonder what the Onowu is doing about her ill treatment. I just wonder what you want him to do. He's the man of the house. So what do you want him to do? To do exactly what a man in position of authority should do. Remind me exactly why I am here discussing someone else's family issues with you. Exactly, my sister. We are finished with Onu. Let's touch other parts in this village. You will stay and touch those parts alone. Nee, this affair is our village. We need to touch it. You will touch it in my village. Hey. Come, please. 
Please, you know you helped me the other time. to set when she steps out. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, mother, only do. Mother, one of you make your thing come to back. <laughs> Ugo, why? Mother. So beautiful. Hey. You are beautiful. Thank you, mother. <gasps> mother, you will make me have goosebumps. That is not my intention. Hmm. When I look at you, I mean, look at you. <laughs> you are the peace setter. Mm -hmm. In this kingdom, mm -hmm. no one born of a woman has ever looked this beautiful, <laughs> this gorgeous. Oh, oh, put it so back! Put it back! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. okay. No one has ever looked this beautiful, mm. this gorgeous, <gasps> this attractive, oh, this beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, but truthfully. <laughs> I have you to thank for it. Oh, no, 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 no. no. You are the most beautiful woman that I know. Mm -hmm. Do not flatter your mother. I am not. Yes, you are. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you know, when God made you, oh. it was on a special day. Oh, my goodness. He sculptured and molded you Ooh. with a different kind of sand, oh, with a different intention. Oh. oh, God was faithful the day he gave me. Yeah. Oh, God was faithful, faithful. they he gave, gave you to me. me. I said this isn't enough. Oh, my goodness. Please give me that smile again. <gasps> Nesiana Dimpo. <laughs> oh. Mother, oh. easy, mother, easy, easy. Give me the mirror. Give me the mirror. Let me ask the mirror a question. Oh. Mirror, mirror. Who is the most beautiful? Adi Adu Adu. Hi! Adi Adu Adu. Adi Adu Adu. Adi Adu Adu. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Mother. Oh, uh, now, now, you listen. <laughs> For looking after my daughter and ensuring that she always looks beautiful, <laughs> God will give you a good husband that would appreciate you. He said. Oh, my darling. Mother. This one, you're looking so beautiful, getting ready. Mm. I guess you're going to see your man, the prince. Of course, mother. Mm. No one else. But him. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Mm. All right. I'm going to get something really nice ready for your future mother in law. Um, mother, is that even necessary? Oh, it is. Don't worry, it's not going to be heavy. Okay. I need you to find your way into her heart. Huh? Mm hmm. Ah. Oh. 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 <laughs> mother, I love you. I love you more, <laughs> Bubu Babu Bazuzulu. <laughs> And not to worry, it's not going to be heavy. Okay. Besides, you have a maid. Oh. And as for that stupid girl, mm. she's not even back from fetching water from the community mm. bottle. Mother. Yes. I totally forgot that I have a maid. Mm. You do? For that girl? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. She's not coming an inch close to the king. No, you... Not even to the king or the prince, mother. Smart girl. Because you you know the history of her mother, your sister. <laughs> What's that saying again? Snakes beget snakes. I want her more. Yes, mother. Mm -hmm. So I don't want her to come close to my future husband. Never. Smart. Yes, mother. Not only are you beautiful, you are intelligent, <laughs> mother. <laughs> I have to run along. Okay, mother. Now continue and make sure she looks <sighs> the best. Of oh, course. Mother. Oh, mother. Oh, oh. Mother, do you know I love you? Oh, baby girl, mm -hmm. I love, love you, you more. <laughs> Let me go and pull the okay, things together. Mother. <laughs> I love Another you, mother. <laughs> mother, I love, I love you. you more, baby. Oh, my God. Aww. You show her 
have a good mother. Oh, I do. You always go up. Yes. And I love my mother. Please, please pack the hair on. Yeah. Be quick about it. So beautiful. Oh, I know. <laughs> I see you girls went to fetch water. Yes. No, we went to dance for the Queen of the Coast. What is your problem? Okay, I need to go in. Let's go. Try yes. yes. Ah, sir. Yes. Ah, sir. Was that sarcasm? Must you show her you don't like her? Is that why you dragged me like this? Wait, 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 wait. Is that why you dragged me this way? That girl is a spoilt class opportunist. And why are you always so friendly with her? Why? Adego, why shouldn't I be? That girl is going to become the future queen. If she marries the prince, make a future purpose. And who told you she's going to end up with the prince? Who? She's betrothed to him. So she's going to marry him, no doubt. That automatically makes her the future queen. Like I said before, that girl is an opportunist, taking advantage of the fact that her father is the owner of this kingdom. Wait, let me ask you. Do you think she would have been chosen to be the future queen if not for her father? Do you? You are just jealous. You are jealous. Me. Mm -mm. Jealous. Me, Adego. See, let me tell you. I have better and greater people to be jealous of and not her. <laughs> and why am I even standing here discussing about a fool with you? <laughs> jealousy is a sickness. Treat it. Jealousy will kill you. Jealousy will fire your mouth. I will be the queen's best friend. Keep fooling yourself. I should use because of you. That your fa father doesn't even have a shot. Okay? I lose Obi Echina Nya Obi Aye Echina Techi and Obi Aya Dada Nya Obi Adada the prince of our land Dike My prince Please can I say something? I have never stopped you from saying your mind Go ahead. My prince, we've been walking around all day with no destination. Hmm? I didn't even you know we would cover this land. We would have come with our car. What's going on? Is there something you want to tell me? I don't need a car. My mind is filled up. I need to walk around to East Tension. To East Tension? Uh, is it about the happenings in the palace? Uh, uh, but that wasn't your doom. And there is nothing you can do about it. Honestly. My father, the king, is pushing my sister to the wall. Because he wants to frustrate that young man. My sister might end up hating the king forever. Uh, she will not. I, she, she loves the king. Y your sister loves your father. All that will evaporate when the king kills the love of her life. Remember she is carrying his child. Of all men, 
Greetings, my friend. Greetings. Of all men, she chose that one. My prince, you, you just sound like your father. I am not trying to be selfish here. I'm worried about my sister. And I don't trust Okudele. My major concern is my sister's happiness. My prince, are you scared of Okudele? That he cannot give your sister the kind of life that she deserves? <laughs> my prince, don't forget that Okudele is a very hardworking man and the only son in his family. He is the one taking all the responsibilities in their house. My, my prince, I, I plead, you, you should give him a benefit of doubt. He can make a, a very good husband to your sister. Believe me. Why are you sounding like someone that has been bought? Hmm? I'm, I'm just saying my mind. Hmm. Your Majesty, hmm? this will look perfect on you. It will look amazing. But it can have two of them instead. Okay, the both? Uh, yes, the both. Okay, the both will be nice. Mm -hmm. you, you want me to have it? Mm -hmm. Oh, Your Majesty, you spoil me too much. You have already given me more than I can have. Your mother told him not to be here. So I should spoil you. No. I should take proper and good care of you. Thank you, Your Majesty. I mean, this is really beautiful. Your Majesty. Yes. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Are you sure? Yes, just that I have a lot of I have a lot of mine already. What is it? No, nothing. Just that Eze hasn't come home. He doesn't stay this long to come back. And I got that he didn't go with his car. Your Majesty, I walked down here. You know, sometimes this long walk is really necessary. It's okay. That shows both of you are meant for each other. Your Majesty, I mean, you say the nicest of things to me. Thank you so much. But I want you to know that everything is going to be fine. No matter how long he stays out, he will still come back. Okay? I know. I know you will come back. <sighs> Your Majesty, the more you try to hide these things, I know there is something going on you do not want to tell me. What is it? <sighs> not, nothing. Let me ask him to bring oh, you Your something. Majesty, no! I am not hungry. It's okay. Your, your Majesty, is the princess around? Can, can I see her? At least she will be the best person to tell me what is really going on. The princess is not in the palace. But trust me, everything will be fine. You know I do not talk without facts. I am telling you what my mother told me. She said she was there when the guards came and hauled Okudeli and dragged him off like a common criminal. Ijoma, you exaggerate things. The people working for the king must at least respect a man who is eating. They shouldn't disrespect the spirit of Ieji by assaulting a man who is eating. Forget about those spirits. Many people no longer respect them. And that is why we have so many problems today. Ijoma, go to all the junctions. I bet you won't be able to count how many obituary posters of young men and women <clears throat> dying in their thirties and forties. Well, can we please leave obituaries and consign ourselves with the one we can handle? Which is? Our normal gossip, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. It was reported that they met him when he was eating and slapped him and got him arrested. You drama, were you there? We are you? You don't even know why he was dragged at the first place. Well, I know. I heard Princess Mirabel or Uzomili or whatever she is called has been looking around him for a while now. And if I know the king very well from what I've heard about him, 
He's not very pleased with such a peasant having his daughter's attention. Ugumma, you're not saying anything. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Ijoma is making a wild allegation here. Hmm. Amanda, it is no allegation. Oh. Ijoma is right. You know, going. I have actually seen them together. Once or twice. Uh, it simply doesn't sum it all up. I mean, you all know how breathtaking and friendly our princess is. Unlike those her sisters. She's so nice. I wouldn't blame Oku Didi for falling for her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to wait to know what exactly he did to her and such treatments. <laughs> That is, if the royal family will deem it important to tell you. It is strange you've abandoned the original topic that brought us here. Exactly. Oh, you cool. You drama hmm. and gossip. Please, let's talk about this. Like, you've not enjoyed the gossip. Enjoy which gossip? <laughs> you. Your gossip. You enjoyed <laughs> it. Never. Pacing all over the place like you've seen a ghost. What is it? Mother, is everything all right at the palace? Uh, why do you ask? I am not comfortable with the way things played out today. It was cold. Unlike before. How? Mother, I do not know. The queen who started well suddenly changed. Then the princess is nowhere to be seen. Mother, it's as if there is something happening in that palace no one knows of. Oh, oh. You might be right, you know. Because Okudili's parents were here to look for your father today. Why? I think Okudili was arrested by the king. What did he do? I wouldn't know. Maybe when your father comes back, he'll be able to explain better. Hmm. Mother. Mother. Mm. Mommy, I'm hungry. <laughs> Initially, you didn't want to talk. Mm. Now you're ready to talk of all things food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. I'll get that stupid girl to get you something to eat. Very stupid girl. Honestly. Mm. Let me call her. Stupid. Amara! Amara, stupid girl! If you get that, sir. She will never answer. I'm going to give her a text. I'm going to give her a no. I'm allowed to go. Is she okay? I'm back here now. Your Majesty, I am asking because I am the owner of this kingdom. I wouldn't be here if his parents didn't come to my place. Oh, just hold on. Oh, no. Are you ever thinking that I will issue an order for the young man to be arrested when he has done nothing? Never my king, I can't think such of you. He is your subject, and I am his ono. Um, what exactly was his offense? You know, we see, one thing that I must never take is fools. Capitalizing on my leniency to insult my family. I can take all things, but there is no way I will ever take insult. Any form of insult on my family. Okudili insulted the royal household. That is unacceptable. My king, what did he say? Listen, no, no. The royal court will sit soon on that subject. You will be there. What I expect you to do is to talk to the father of the young man to be there as well. Uh, 
I was informed that you beat him. And here's my proofs. Thank you. And I also heard you were the one that made it possible. I will forever appreciate you. It's nothing. The charms buried here are for different purposes. So on no account should you attempt running away. Because if you do, trust me, you will end up dead and I will be the one to get to happen. I knew about this place a long time ago and I will not attempt to live without the king's permission. Good. I will come and see you if I retire. How is she? Which version do you seek? The truth. Of course. Do you think she's alright, considering her condition? Believe me, my prince. I never wanted to do this to her. I mean, claim her without going through the customs and traditions of the land. But I don't regret it either. I love her and I don't regret making her my woman. We love her fine and good, but that's not enough reason to get her pregnant without paying her right price. Have you forgotten she's way out? My father feels he was shame for this We we wanted to tell him. I wanted to tell him, but he is so inapproachable, and he will never let me have her. Even at that, that's not enough reason for you to do what you do. Do you know that this will tarnish her image if the whole kingdom finds out the truth? They will not want Have you ever been in love? Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever cherished something? Especially someone you, you don't, you can't even dare to lay your hands on. Oh, I thought that's much. I've never been in such condition before. But having said that, um, I hope, I just hope my father finds his way. This is really, really confusing. Yes. I mean, why would the king not tell you why he arrested that innocent, hard-working young man? I believe he must have committed a crime for the king to issue an order for his arrest. I don't think so. I didn't. I beg you. Our king is not a bully. If that is what you want to say. Oh, well, I, I actually have my own belief. And I stand by it any day. Mother, that can't be. I mean, we do not have a tyrant for a king. <laughs> so he can't be. My darling, you are entitled to your own belief. I have mine. Listen to me. Do not go about spreading rumors of what you are not sure of. So, what do I tell Markeg when she comes? I will answer all her questions when she comes. Till then, don't get yourself involved in this matter. Let this matter lie. But no is... but. I don't want to repeat myself. Man propose, but God disposes. Oh, Gigi, the man, why you no more come here? Most people misunderstand God's blessings. It's not by appearance, I feel it's by merit. Kimanka, imagine cause of who just blesses his why you almighty God. I have been thinking too much lately. Sleep is nowhere to be found. Sit.
You know, a man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. Like you rightly said, equally I have not been sleeping because I have been thinking a lot lately. And I feel that I have, uh, I have found a way to solve this problem once and for all. What did you decide on? Obeshina, in the next four market days, there will be a celebration of union between the royal family and the Mengene family. Father, can I say something? No, no, no. You don't need to say anything. I don't know whether it is right or whether it is wrong, but this is what I have decided as king, as a way to solve this problem. And most importantly, as a way to redeem your sister's honor. Her honor or her happiness? Well, I'm not doing anything for her happiness. I am more concerned with the image of the royal family that she has decided to dent. And we must do everything within our powers to redeem that image. She is getting married and uh, it must happen in the next four market days. And as the prince in this palace, I want you to key into this royal decision. Any celebration, no fun fair, nothing. All because she got pregnant in the palace. Is this why you followed me up? Woman, why are you doing everything humanly possible to remind me of an unfortunate incident I've already forgotten? Why? I remind you because I am angry. Why are you angry? This same daughter you laid off, all in the guise of marriage has been delivered of a bouncing baby boy. And the husband shocked everyone with the kind of expensive naming ceremony he organized. So, so why are we discussing this? A man's wife got delivered of a baby boy. And in celebration, he decides to organize an expensive naming ceremony for his son. How is that my business? I had expected you to be in attendance. Like everyone else expected you to go there. I need to show them you are no longer angry. Well, I was not there, but my son was. And did you know that the son of a king is equally a king? And there is one thing I need to say right here. I need to correct that impression. I am no longer angry with Mirabel. She's married and she has moved on with her life. I have wished them success and they will have it. Now I want you to understand that I am a king and you must have to allow me to live the life of the king. Please. Kings are humans as well. I am a different kind of king. What I'm about to tell you is a secret. So I want you to keep it confidential. That's my point. I am no longer interested in the maiden my father chose for me. Uh, yeah? My prince, how 
can, how can you say that you are no longer interested in the median that your father chose for you? Can't you understand this simple English without asking a stupid question? My prince, I, I am asking the question because I am confused. Remember, you have been betrothed to this median ever since you were a little boy. I have been betrothed to that median even since I was a boy, fine and good. But that's not enough reason for me to marry someone I don't even have feelings. Do you understand? But my prince, you, you know your father will not be happy with you, with this your decision. And I, I don't even know how to tell your father this. Who asked you to tell him? Did I ask you to tell my father? I'm sorry, my prince. I said it's confidential. I'm, I'm so sorry, my prince. Listen, I'm telling you this because I see you as my friend and I trust you. Remember, it's confidential. Do you understand? Yes, my prince. M my prince, please, I need to know what happened. Hmm? At least you must have a reason for saying that you no longer go ahead with the marriage right that Ezemo is already aware of. Listen, I'm the one getting married, not the Ezemo. I don't even know what the Ezemo is doing in this picture. On a normal ground, Ezemo is not to be aware. I want to be my, my, my prince, are you sure you okay? I, I, I don't believe you 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 are the person talking talk, talking this. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, oh, oh my prince, wait, 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 wait. Let me guess. Have you gotten another person? No, I'm not seeing anyone else. And I'm done with this conversation. Leave. Okay, my prince. Remember, it's confidential. Yes, my prince. Permission to bless. Oh, 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 your Majesty, the King, requests for your presence in the main living room. Prince Yobiachina, can you hear me? Obiachina, upon saying no biachina techi and no bill ayadanatada. Nya, obia dada. Can you hear me? My prince. Prince of Yachina. Obia dada. Where, where, where did he go? Hmm? The prince is not inside. My prince! Yeah. <laughs>
What do I eat now? I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. Let me scout inside the forest and find what to eat. You are how dare you say such to me? I should be asking you that. Who do you think you are? Do you want to dare your chi, isn't it? Why are you talking to me like that? Are you aware of what I can do to you here? Why is it so hard for you to answer little questions? I said, who do you think you are to want to fall off this cliff? You want to put the whole community into Chubadi, right? Who are you? The girl that just saved your life. Take your chi that I was just wandering around this forest if I found you here. If not, you would have been a dead man. Can you at least step down, go, or should I lead you? Don't worry. I can find my way out. There is no way I'm leaving you here. I'll follow you. Move now. Out. You can't possibly be walking here alone. Where are others? Others? I don't understand what you mean by others. I mean your siblings, your brothers, your partners. Don't tell me you walk here all alone. It's dangerous. I'm a different kind of girl. I do not need protections. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I walk here alone every day. That means your father must be a warrior for you to be walking here all by yourself. Am I right? Forgive my manners, your confidence is top notch. That's why I'm asking questions that I'm not supposed to ask. I'm sorry. Okay. Come with me. Come on, Let's dig. Dig. <laughs> I guess you're dig, you know. Yeah? I can just listen. Listen. Don't tell me you don't know how to dig. Like you don't know what it means. <laughs> oh, can only mean two things. One is you're a noble. And nobles, aside from chasing women up around the village, playing good music and drinking best of wines, they do not know how to do these things because they have slaves who do it for them. Or your royalty. Yes, because they have servants who do this, come to the quarry, do this, sell, Bring money for them to find. So which of the two do you fall into? Well, your assumptions are brilliant, but trust me, I don't belong to any of the two. Obviously, because none of these two categories will want to kill yourself like you tried to do here. You misinterpreted what you saw. I was not trying to take my life. But let's forget about all this. Tell me more about yourself. Why are you working here? Why do you do you choose to do this kind of job? Don't you have siblings? Don't you have parents? Tell me what I need to know. I guess this is where we talk to you. Quite unfortunate. 
Is it? Yes. Once again, thanks for what you did today. Though I was not trying to commit suicide, like you deemed. But nevertheless, thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's okay. Um, do I need to walk you to your house? At no, 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 no. Don't worry. That won't be necessary. Like I said, you misinterpreted the situation. It's not like I was trying to commit suicide. No. But I won't blame you for that. Thank you very much. It's okay. You're welcome. Um, just in case you feel like showing your manly energy, you should know where to find me. Of course. Bye for now. Thank you very much. What do you mean by you don't know where he is? Okandi, oh, he is your prince. And you are his guard. Your eye must be on him 247. Because his security is your priority. And you stand before me to tell me you don't know where he is? I, I have been looking for him everywhere, my king. He is nowhere to be found. He is nowhere to be found? Oh, no. What does that mean? You mean he left this palace and nobody saw him? Is that what you are saying? Your Majesty, it has boiled down to what I have been saying. These things you call guards are incompetent, especially this one guard. Your, your Majesty. Hey, will you just shut up? Shut up and step out and go and look for my son. And let me tell you something, you must find him. And you must bring him back here, safe and sound. Yes, Your Majesty. You heard Prince Obiachina. Nyan Obil. Will you just shut up? Where in the world are you coming from? Where did you go? This Tenu Kadi was sent to your chambers to go and fetch you by your father. Only to get there, you were not there. Where did you go? I was worried sick that you might have fallen into the hands of the enemy. Relax, mom. I just stepped out. You just stepped out? Uh huh. Without your guards? Without even you have your personal guard? What were you thinking? Mother, I am a full grown man. I can take good care of myself. Now, now, I want you to understand something. Stop trying to believe you can live like a commoner. Obviously, that you are not a commoner. You are the heir to the throne of Amanato and your protection is of priority. Father. Hey, don't, don't, don't tell me that. Stop trying to impress people. By believing you can live like a common you live in any kind of life you, 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 you want. Is this necessary? No, let's be realistic here. Is this necessary? I just stepped out and you people are shouting as if I did something wrong. Is it necessary? So, hey, okay. this thing is not necessary. Listen to me. That's my king. On no account, from now moving forward, must you lose sight of this young man that is standing here. Else. Yes, my king. Father, you can't threaten him like that. No, 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 no. What I just said is not a threat. I am not threatening him. I just gave an order which must be followed. Yes. You, you, your Majesty. I can understand your fear. Possibly one of those dreams that instill fear in you. Forget about that. Okay? Can we still send for the chief priest? That is not necessary. Our son is okay. There is nothing wrong with him. And I want you to leave it at that. Okadi. Prince Obiechina. Why is the king agitated and why is my mother also worried? What happened? Prince Obiechina, Obil Ayechina Techi, and Obil Ayadanatada, Nya Obiadada. Okay, that's my prince. Please, 
if I may ask, where were you? I mean, where did you go? Excuse me. My prince, I am the one who is qualified to ask you the question. My prince, where did you go? Well, Okadi, if you must know, I went for sightseeing. I needed fresh air, I needed to clear my head. And it was fun because I met a new friend. A new friend? Uh, who? I said a new friend. Who is he? A she. <laughs> she? My prince, you mean Ugebwe? I said a new friend. Why are you calling old names? He My prince, if you were not with her, who then were you with? You don't want to talk. You don't want to tell me where you're coming from. You talk about where you're Eh? So where are you coming from? Uh, I, I'm coming from the quarry. Hey. <laughs> so you, you can look me in the face and lie. You're coming from the quarry. You know, look at me. Do I look like a fool to you? You don't need to see the room no more. Look at me from head to toe. Look at me. Look at me from head to toe. Do I look like a fool? And don't look at me fast. Look at me slowly. Good. Do I look like a fool to you? So where exactly are you coming from? Don't shut up. I'm even talking. You're talking back. So now what we need is that you can't see a full stop. You start talking. Where are you coming from? Will there ever be a day in this house that we will not force my neighbors to hear noises from this compound? Uh, uh, what are you saying? <laughs> in other words, I'm the cause of your problems. I'm the cause of your troubles, okay? Oh, so no, 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 Ask this girl where she's what coming from. What is it? What did she do this time? Ask her where she's coming from. This girl has a <laughs> She now moves around with men. Ooh. Not just moving around. She meets them in secret and strange places. If she had been following them on the normal road, I wouldn't have bothered. My nose was a family, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Is it true? No, Papa, I swear, I swear. My mother, okay, shut up! Oh, she, man. So, you would rather listen to this girl than listen to me? More of a Over this liar. Eh? Um, Amala Chukun, I don't understand. You have not done anything in the sense you've not sold your honor to any man, or you have not done anything with a man. Uh, uh, Asana, Baba, I swear, I, I, I was at the quarry, I did not go anywhere. Ah, see? Uh, no, 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 you are a great liar. I went to the quarry to look for you. I looked everywhere from her. On top of the tree, under the tree, beside the tree, I was screaming her name. People helped me to call her name. Amara, 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 now I found her quarry. And I wonder, Mom, because there's some quarry. Hey, Zalom, you have not said where you went to. I saw my mother scream. I didn't go to anywhere. Your mother is dead and gone. No swearing on her grave will bring her out. And I swear, Robo uh, won't let her. That's enough for today. Um, that's okay. You may go in. I'll take it, take it off from there. No, 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 wait. This is what you do all the time that really pisses me off. Again, me see you will take it from, from there. You will take it from there. Meaning what? Me, I can't just look at me. Anyway, that is a story for another day. Imagine car, be there with you, man. You see you. Let me tell you something. You see this case? It is not over yet until it's over. If we tell you, oh yeah, we'll turn away. Stop saying too close to my husband. Of your mood, you know, let that. Ne, 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 romance.
Come here, girl. What is wrong with you? Tell me what is wrong with you. I just want to hear from you exactly what is the problem. What has Amati ever done to deserve this treatment? Ma'am, I don't understand what you're saying. Are you saying I intentionally punish her or what? Abiyagali, I am the owner of a man to remember. Mm -hmm. There are questions you don't ask me. <laughs> so you're looking at me that lowly. There are questions I don't ask you. Remember, I am your wife. And she is your niece, so, your late sister's only child. Oh, an illegitimate child. Do you understand what I'm saying? Illegitimate. A child that brought so much dishonor to the family. You were the one that insisted she comes here to live with us. And you think I am wrong to bring her in? I did what I did because you're supposed to be the best person to take care of, of her. Mm. To give her the love and care she deserves. Love and care indeed. What love and care are you talking about? For your information. She deserves every scorn and pain murdered out to her. She is an illegitimate child and she needs to pay the price for it. She didn't ask to be born that way, obviously. Okay. Well, it's a pity her mother is no more. Maybe then would have been able to chastise her for what she did. As for that stupid girl, I do not care. She will pay. I, you know, every time I see her, I just cringe. She makes me remember what my sister went through and the way that stupid man turned his back on her. Listen, you see this girl? She deserves more than she's getting. Abu Kwame Omar and Malia. Biko. I'm out of here. Sometimes I wonder if this is the same Obiageri I married. Still here? No. Mama. Come on, we can get busy. I'm off here. Crying, crocodile tears. I'm on break on mom. Can't you see your group? Are you okay? Just give me water. It was a dream. Are you all right? I am fine. I'll be all right. I'm okay. Are you sure, my queen? Yes. Should I send for the king? No, there's no need for that. If there is another thing I need, I'll send for you. Thank you very much. No, tell your majesty. Take care. Your 
Majesty. I saw his remains. He was lying so lifeless. Your Majesty, I don't want us to take this lying low. I don't want us to be silent on this. Now, woman, I'm going to break this thing down. Fear is a monster. A monster that has the capacity to become permanent if you give it a space. I want you to quit the fear. Resist this dream that instills this level of fear in you before it gains ground. Your okay? Majesty, let's not treat this with levity. Let's not treat it lightly. There's never been a time in this kingdom where a dream of death is taken lightly. I'm talking about your son, our own son. Lord, Lord, that thing you saw in your dream was not our son. You saw a mirage. Never our son. Our son is an energetic young man of this kingdom who is destined to live a fulfilled life. And then he's going to die majestically when the time comes. I want you to understand that that is our son. Instead of you to be thinking about all these things, can't you just concentrate and think about your son that is getting married? Spend time with the future queen of Amanato. That should be what you are doing. Not thinking of one useless dream where somebody died. Your Majesty, I am not saying we shouldn't do all that. But it doesn't stop us from bringing a seer. At least from Aguleri or Enugoku. Let us find out what is going on. The same way my father warned me. Never ever to inquire of the sex of a child before that child is born. It's the same way he warned me. Never to sit with any seer at all. To find out what the future holds. Whether this year is from Aguleri, from Enugupo, from anywhere. I must not inquire on what the future holds. Your Majesty, we are not inquiring about what the future holds. We are inquiring about what is going on with our son. What is... what is going on with our son is that he is about to become married to a beautiful maiden of our land. Who happens to be the daughter of the Ono. Who... I want you to be thinking of that marriage and not thinking about anybody that is going to be dropping dead, please. Your Majesty! This meeting has ended and in your overall interest, I wouldn't want you to say anything again. Mother. I went to your chambers to see you, but your chief man told me you went to see Father. You don't look right. What is it? Nothing, I'm fine. Come on, Mom. I know when you're fine. What is the problem? Obi. My son. I want you to make me a promise. Promise me you'll be safe. Promise me you'll be all right. Promise me no matter what happens, you'll be safe for me. Mother, why are you sounding this way? And I love you very much. You're my bride. You're my life. In fact, you're the reason I am still in this community. Mom, you're making me uncomfortable. You, 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 you're scaring me. Why are you sounding this way? What is the problem? Obi, if anything happens to you, I will die. I cannot stand it. I can't survive it. Just promise me you'll be safe. All right, I will be safe. You have not promised yet. I promise I will be safe. Good. <laughs> See, please, I beg you. Don't scare me the way you did the last time. It will never happen again. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me see the meeting.
What is she eating her of? She's definitely not her. Techi and do bill I had an atada. Okadi is here to see you, my friends. My friends, my friends. Where did you come out from? Uh, my friends, where are you sneaking off to? Okadi, I am not sneaking. Who told you I'm sneaking? Uh, but why are you dressed like this? Why are you not in your ro royal robes? How did you get to this place and why are you interrogating me? My prince, maybe you should stop trying to double cross me. I am different. That is why the king uh, trust me. I know my father bestowed so much power on you, but that's not enough reason to be sneaking up on me. Uh, but my prince, I am mandated to be anywhere you are, just to make my work easy. If you must follow me, you have to change. Someone has volunteered to do your job, so you can go somewhere private. Uh, no, 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 my name Don't tell me you are a weakling that you always back off at the sight of work. We discussed about this, have you forgotten? This is the job I told you about. Don't worry, it's very anything. you can do it.
You're making your friend walk outside his wish, and you know that's not fair. You call him my friend, so let me handle him. Why are you here again? I'm here because I want to know you more. Know me more. My name is Amara, a young girl trying to survive. I told you that before. What more do you want? Have you heard about anything called the caste system? Wait. What? Excuse me. Do, do, do you think I am an outcast? Is that what you think of me? Oh, that's your impression about me, right? No, 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 far from that. If that's my impression, I can come looking for you. I just wanted to know if you are aware of the caste system. It's not like that's my impression about you. No, 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 so I summoned courage and spoke to him. <laughs> he denied that he didn't want to take his life. And he has been coming to your quarry since then? Oh, um, yes, I think he likes the way I spoke to him the first day. Wow. Forget that, my dear. He has been coming with his friend already. You have to be very, very careful. He can't let psych you up now. To psych me up? Yes, now. Did I mention anything like that? Oh, Amara. Unako. I did not say he came to psych me up, Pico. I said he came with his friend to help me out. Really? Look, I'm just trying to open your eyes to the reality of what he's trying to play out. That guy is a rapist. And he came with his friend in order for him to be able to map out all his plans. May the you God forbid. Unako, please. Your mind is always filled with bad thoughts. I only said he came to help me. And now you're calling rape, rape, rape. Please. The man that has been coming is a decent man. He's not a rapist. He doesn't even look like one. So, hold this your gist, Biko. See, I don't have any evil intentions towards you. If you would listen to my advice, you have to stop going to that quarry. Look, rapists are not known by their looks. Amara, that one that is coming with his friend already, you have to shine your eyes and be very careful. Okay? Father, I don't get this. How can you fix my marriage date with how, when? Well, the date is 15th of next month. And I want you to understand that that appointment is already sealed with the royal seal of Abanata. Father, you can't do this to me. You can't just do this to me. How could you fix my wedding date without my consent? You will eventually get married. Why, Why would you have a problem with that? Father, I don't understand. The last time we spoke, you told me you were discussing it with the SMO. And I was wondering what is the most business with another man's marriage. Now you fixed my marriage date without my permission. What permission are you talking about, young man? I am the king of Amanato and I'm your father. Father, no one is disputing that fact. You are the king and my father. But that's not enough reason for you to fix my marriage without my consent. It's wrong. Well, I need you to understand that I've already made a decision on this. And the one thing you must not do, Obieshna, is to quit something. I'm the one getting married, so you people shall allow me to do my thing my way. I will not. I'm fine. It's nothing. No, I don't believe you. Your face doesn't look it. 
Like someone that is getting married. Your face should look excited, happy. Instead, you're looking as if you're coming from a battlefield. Yes, and that's because I'm not happy. I am not happy. Who does that? How could father do this to me? This is wrong. It's not right in any way. What did he do? Father fixed my marriage date without my consent. I left this palace only for me to return and hear that my marriage has been fixed without my consent. Who does that? Come on. It happened long ago. It happened here already. What is wrong with that? That girl is... No, 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 no. Don't go the Asanam. She is not. She cannot and she will never be. Mother Asanam. Mother Asanam. How can you fix my marriage date without my consent? Excuse me, please. Huh? What is wrong with him? What has come over him? Yes, my baby. You look like a queen already. <laughs> Where is that stupid girl? Oh, don't, not to worry. Let me bring her out. Okay. Amara! Amara! What kept you? Uh, ah, please, please! I don't want huh. to listen to your stupid, useless excuses. Now move. Yo, yo. Move it! Mother, I want you to watch me. Like a queen. Like a queen. Like you're going to be soon. Oh, mother. Ah. Mother. Ah. Mother. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a queen. Yes, mother. Uh huh. Go on. That's hey. it. Uh huh. Hey. Uh huh. Hey. Uh huh. Hey. Uh, you know what? Come on, that let me walk like a queen. Okay, please, mother. Let's walk together. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Mother. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. Oh, slowly. Yeah, okay, slowly. Oh, <laughs> My leg seems to be going. Mother, why are you going <laughs> one side? Oh, no. You have to. <laughs> Mother, now watch me. I need to watch me. I'm watching. Ah. Ah, slowly. You know, oh. you have to put your shoulders up. Oh, your shoulders up. Yeah, Mama. Back out. Yes, Mama. Oh, no. Mother, you're going one side. Oh, <laughs> that's not the way. One thing I don't do is to accept what I do not like. The meeting of the maidens will hold again very soon, and I'm going to tell everyone a piece of my mind. Okay. Well, you tell me a bit. At least let me have an idea. As your friend, two heads are better than one. Please just shut up. See this food. You don't know if we pull out together and give her hot hot. It will sound. It will make more sense. Pull out together. You are who? Who is you? Always put him out. Look at this one. You don't know you're alone. Thing. You will need me. All. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh. Just, I'm pitying for your life cycle. Shameless. Stupid, shameless. You don't even know your friend. You don't even know they're managing you. Manage me. Please, oh, I will my, cost you if I force you to go far. My plans are special. I cannot. Tell. <laughs> You must act like a queen. Yes, ma'am. All the time. All right? What is it? Mother. What are you doing? Those two have been disrespecting me for far too long. Baby, just let them be. Very soon you're going to be the queen. Then you would have enough time to deal. Mother, now that my marriage has been fixed, I need to teach them a lesson. A lesson? A lesson, Mother. Go ahead and teach them. I'll be right back. Waiting. The peacock. Why is she coming here? Maidens of Amanatol. Maidens. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Well, I am not here for a chit chat. At least not with things of your caliber. Hi. 
You have made that clear a long time ago. Now, what do you want? In case you haven't heard, my marriage with the prince has been fixed. And soon enough, I will be the prince's wife. The future princess. The future Lola. Okay, okay. Of Amanata okay. Kingdom. Okay. Mm. Too much of information. Yeah. So now, what can we do for you? Neil. Huh? Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, but did I just hear you well? You said we should do what? Repetition is no virtue of the queen, Muka. But if you want me to, it comes at a cost. You will be kneeling before the queen. And that starts now. Now kneel and pay your respect. And if we don't? I hope I will not be the one to tell you what the king can do to those who flaunt his others. What's that word again? The king can be merciless. Now kneel. Kneel! Now that I have your attention, instead of you two being here gossiping, why don't you make yourselves useful? You will help clean the palace for the upcoming occasion. The king will appreciate it. I'm sorry, Bobby. I wasn't suggesting. I am telling you what you must do. And don't think I will not know. Uh -uh, don't think that. Because I have my eyes on the both of you. Now, run along. Run along. Come on, go, 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 go. Go, things, things, things. Go, go. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Mother! 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 Oh! Mother! I just need to teach them a lesson. You did teach them a lesson. Mother, let's go. Mother, let's go. I want to watch you walk. Okay, ma. Woo! Oh! 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 Am I the one that gave birth to this? Yes, this mother. gorgeous lady. Yes, mother. That's one in a million ladies. Yes, mother. Yeah, one, you're not getting your wings. Get out. Get out. Mother. 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 Oh, 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 shake it. 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 I can't believe her nerves. I just can't believe her nerves. Why must she do that? Why? To insult us. Hi. Luca, you have suffered. Sorry, you. I can't believe I had to kneel before that fool. How exactly did our lives turn out this way? How in the world were we turned from being friends to strangers and now servants? How? Because she wants us to feel inferior. She wants us to be like commoners. But that will never happen. She's not even the crown princess yet, and she's like this. Only God knows what will happen if she eventually becomes the lola of this kingdom. In Amanato or in Kenya, that will never happen. I can't stand that. That peacock has called the maidens into war. And she must feel the brunt of it. She will feel the brunt of that war. Ugegbima. You are indeed a fool for making us kneel before you. Your Highness, my elders. <laughs> this is good news. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh no, you have a very beautiful daughter. Um, you can say that again. Thank you. Sir. It's because she took after her <laughs> no, you and your wife surely have a beautiful daughter here. Yes. And she's good for respect. Thank you, sir. She will make a good queen. Obviously, she will be a lot. She will make a very good queen. Mm. 
Thank you, sir. Because she has been under the tutelage of the queen since she was a child, <laughs> no one can do it better than her. Right, mm -hmm. you Yeah, my wife oh, actually goodness. did a very wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> uh, excuse me, yes, let me def get Definitely. Definitely. Excuse me, <laughs> let me get one <laughs> My prince, I, see, I, I am just doing my job. Your father, the king, asked me to fetch you. And I said I'm not moving. No, my prince, you must go with me. You don't have a choice today. As if I used to before. Listen, don't get me angry. I'm not moving an inch. See, Prince Obiechina and Obil Ayechi Nya Obil Ayadada Nya Obiadada. Will you just shut up? Prince Obiechina, you, you have to go with me now. If you don't go with me, you, your father wouldn't be happy with you. And you will land me in a very big problem with your father. Son? Uh, greetings, your, your Majesty. Greetings. What are you still doing here? You should come already. All right. Are, they, are you guys ready for me? Mm-hmm. Are, are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. I'm just going. Okay, let's go. Come on. And I am actually expecting somebody to acknowledge the beauty of oh, she's <laughs> very pretty. Your Majesty, you know you like good things. Oh. Yes, exactly. I like good things, definitely. And that is where my kingdom is looking so wonderful. <laughs> definitely. Oh. There we are. Uh, oh. Lolly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Oh. Yeah, so. right. Just look at them. Don't they look lovely together? They do. What the hell My. My. Come here. Stop here. You knew him, don't you? You knew him before today, don't you? What are you talking about? I do not know what you're talking oh, about. You dare deny it. I, I saw the way, the way he looked at you. That look, that interactive look is nothing to be ignored. Honestly, Ugi, I do not know what you're talking about. Come! Stay here! Stay here! Ugi, Why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Keep shut, shut, shut your mouth. <sighs> you know him. You know him. And you were denying it. <clears throat> what do you really take me for? Amara, I saw it. No, do you think I am blind? Or I am dumb? I want to ask you. Who the hell do you think you are? Huh? I'm sorry. I swear, I didn't know who he was at the time. It was a complete mistake. I swore my mother's girl. Don't the fire, you dare! You dare make excuses with the dead? You? You are worse than a devil! Now, come here. If you dare, look at my hand. If you dare, come an inch close. I will make you regret not following your mother to the grave. <laughs> Idiot!
Galonia. Now, what up, Barrera? Everyone should leave now. You step over. Mother, off, off that water. One, one million. Mm -hmm. You stay here. My prince. Prince. Obi Echina. Nya. Obi Aye Echina Techi. And Obi Aye Adanatada. Nya. Obi Adada. She's here now. I gathered your name is Amara. Yes, my, my name is Amara. Amarachi. Amarachi, can we talk? No, sir. We cannot talk. With all due respect, sir, can we just stop seeing? I do not want people seeing things the other way and gossiping that we have something together. And you know that's a lie. That's going to break my sister's heart the more. I do not want that. So, please, sir. Are you done? Sir? Are you done? Maybe you have something more to say. I'm doing your majesty. Good. You don't want to talk to me fine and good, but I want to talk to you. Amarachi, I want us to talk about something special. And trust me, I won't waste much of your time. Sir, I do not have all the time in the world. I need to go home right now and make something to, to, to eat. You can do all that later. For now, we really need to talk. Are you going to force me to talk now? I'm not forcing you. I'm pleading. Are we going to talk here? Wait, what just happened back there? The prince wants to have some alone time with Amara. And why are you guys so surprised about it? Are you not surprised? She is a commoner, commoner, commoner. Almost a slave in Onowu's house. Well, I vote she's a better choice for the prince and that's foolish cousin of hers. Hmm? Adego, you go. You hate to give me. Mm, exactly. It is so evident. But you know this is not right. Which one? The prince developing affection for the poor orphan? He is taken. And any form of a relationship with him is tantamount to death, sister or not. And I vote death knowing who Ugebe is. Hmm. Unless the prince is cowed enough to let his father push him around. Wait, have you taken a good look at those two? They don't belong to each other. And you think Amara does? The king would just have a head. Prince Obiechina cannot defy him. Well, people tend to do things when they are in love. Mm. And why are we running into conclusions already? We don't even know what they were talking about. <laughs> what else does a man and a woman talk about if not the usual Please thing? ask how. Well, we don't know and I can't wait to find out the results. If you don't worry about that, my mother will be waiting for me at home. You know, just because you're the prince of Amanato doesn't give you the right to make demands of people, especially commoners like myself. I'm sorry about that, but you've been avoiding me. And that's painful. You no longer come to Stone Quarry. I'm sorry. That was the least I could do. Avoiding me? Listen. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hid my identity from you the first time we met. But it was because of the where we met. And most people are not comfortable with my identity. I'm sorry. Of course, because it doesn't make sense that the prince of Amanato will want to kill himself. I never wanted to kill myself. You misinterpreted the situation. 
And my sincerest apologies, sir. I, I, I think I need to be punished. No. I'm sorry. I never knew she's your sister. You owe me no apologies, sir. It doesn't matter. I do because... I think I took advantage of your ignorance. Though I enjoyed every moment we spent. And I wish nothing could separate us, no matter what happened. I'm sorry, sir. I think it would be in everyone's interest that we stop engaging in any kind of closeness. Yes, um, it doesn't make sense. Amarachi, but we... I appreciate you see a less commoner like me, worthy enough to spend your time with. But drawing boundaries is very necessary, and we must. Thank you so much for the time. I have to go right now. My prince, if you ask me, she's right. Yes. Have you been here all this while? My prince, uh, you can't stop me from doing my, my own job. I think I'm doing my job. I'm sorry. You came with an intimidating aura. Who are you and what do you want? Those that kill and walk away will run the day they kill someone from the family of warriors. Have you thought about this? I don't understand. What are you talking about? The heart of man speaks something different from what the ear hears. The bots become food for the vulture when the man meets his end. Have you pondered on this? I am a prince, but that does not mean I must understand everything. Who are you and what do you want? You've been having a particular dream since you were a child. Now, it has become your current. What do you think of those dreams? Do you think it's something normal for a man your age? How come you know about the dreams? How come? Can you explain the meaning of those dreams? You need not to be a murderer for you to be haunted. This is your fate and you must face it. It is a river you must swim across. You either swim or die try. Either way, there is no escape. I don't understand. The ways of the gods are broad and lack simplicity. There is no shortcut to internal peace and harmony. Sleep well, my fair friends. My friends, he heard. Obiachina. Obiachina. He heard. What is going on here? My, 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 my king, I, I'm confused too. I just met him like this. What happened to him? I, I don't just know. Wake him up. Hit him hard. Prince Obiachina. He hurt your father. Is... What's the matter with you? 
Have you been drinking all this rubbish or what? I did not drink before going to bed last night. What happened? I should be asking you. How can you do this to yourself? A prince? Lie down stupid on the floor? Are you out of your senses? This is not an imagination. I, I, I saw... I saw a scary looking woman with an intimidating aura, yes. She came and uh, she said something I can't remember, but she's the reason I passed out. She did something to me. Talking around nonsense. Freshen up your bad breath and meet me downstairs. Please, Obiachina, what happened? You just scared me with what you just narrated now. I'm sure what I said, she, oh, she appeared here. Uh, who, who is she? I don't know, but she's spiritual. Is either she's a goddess or a... A goddess? Of... She looks like something from the Marine Kingdom, I don't know. out of your mind? I mean, can you hear yourself speak? Father, I know what I'm saying. Why would I lie about such a thing? I don't know. You should be telling me. Because from your description now, that person is Amuma. Yes, Amuma. Now, why in this world will Amuma come to you? Why? That is the question, Father, because I'm sure what I'm saying. Okay, think about it this way. Of all the places to sleep, why would I choose the king? Why? But I have no reason to lie. Well, I don't know whether you are lying or not. But I'm in a position to confirm to you that Abuma has not been in the human physical realm for ages now. Abuma is a spirit being. Why would she come to you? I mean, what business does she have with you? That is the question, Father, because... I mean... Why would she appear to me? And I'm sure of what I'm saying. Amuma appeared to me. Why will Amuma come to him in her full element? visit the chief priest. Why did you order me to stand outside? And my friends, why is it that ever since you, you, you came outside from meeting the chief priest, you, you haven't said anything? It's obvious you are part of my problems. How, my friends? What have I done? I asked the chief priest some questions and he was not able to answer any of them. And here you are asking me two questions at a time. How dare you? I, I, I am sorry, my prince. But how, how is it possible? What question did you ask the chief priest that he failed to answer you? One. Why are the gods not talking? Two, 
Amongst all the people in this kingdom, why am I the only one she appears to? Three, why is she speaking in riddles? Honestly, my prince, I, I, I don't understand. You don't understand, fine. This is the more reason you should let me be. You may leave. I will say this in a plain language so that you will understand me well. Okay. I can't marry you. What? What do you mean by you can't marry me? You're joking. Stop it. I'm serious. I can't marry you. It won't work. Why? What have I done? Nothing. Am I not enough? Of course, you are more than enough. What is the problem? Trust me, it's for our own good. Okay, fine. Fine. You do not love me. But my prince, I love you. And my love is enough for us. It's enough. I'm doing this for our own good. What are you talking about? What do you mean for our own good? I have been betrothed to you right from childhood. I have been trained and nurtured to be your wife, to rule with you. How, how will you tell me that, 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 that this marriage will not work? Marriage is beyond all that. Yes. And forever is too long to spend with a mistake. If I get married to you, you'll live a pitiful life forever. What are you talking about? I just saved you the stress. My prince, hold on. Everybody knows that I am betrothed to you. Did you even think for a split second about the way I will feel? This is why people make mistakes in life. Why do you think so much about people? People know that you are betrothed to me. People will say this. Listen, it's all about you. Forget about people. This marriage won't work. Excuse me. My prince. My prince. My prince, please. People will laugh at me. I pray in the name of our gods, please. Please. Amara! 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 Look at my... What is it? Amara! What happened? I am. Why are you crying? Well, I am going to kill that snake in this house. That snake in the house? Yes, mother. Well, what did she do? Mother, how dare she? What dare she do what? How dare she try to take what rightfully belongs to me? And what rightfully belongs to me? The prince, mother. The prince. Yes, mother. Come on. Yes. We are going to kill her. Mother, let's go kill her. Come on. Amara. 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 Where is she? Mother, where is she? Where is she, mother? She, she was right here a couple of minutes ago. <gasps> Mother, I am going to kill this girl today. But if I may ask, what exactly happened? Mother, yes, she made the prince call off the marriage. She made the prince call off the marriage, mother. The prince said he's no longer interested in me. That, 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 that he's in love with that, that idiot, that, that, that bastard. Mother, I, I want to kill her, mother. Wait, wait. You mean the prince? Is no longer interested in me. Yes, mother, that was why he called me out. He said he's no longer interested in me. She has charmed him. She has charmed him. In fact, she is just like a mother. Like mother, like daughter. Ah! Ah, mother! I am going to kill this girl. Come here, come here, come here. What is going on here? I said what is happening here? Come on! What is happening here? What is happening here? Come on, get it out! Get it out! Get it out of arm's way! Come on, come on, What's nonsense? Oh no, who of Amanato is talking and you're still talking? Nah, you pick up, pick up, pack that your own. You can see both of you are insane. Yes! 
I am insane. Back at that, you know, you can only use it as a, as a palace. If I born now, you want I never. Let me kill this girl. Listen, you. You say that you kill me today, I'll kill you. You say this thing you got for the goat, you're worse than the goat. You're going to eat it. <laughs> Enough! But no, please. Just let us handle her. Do you even know what this girl did? Do you know? The priest has called off the marriage. He has called it off. Because of this, this witch. Enough. Enough. Now listen. No one touches her. No one. No one does what? No one touches her. But I please just stay out of this. Stay out of this. Stay out of stay this. Stay out of this. Abiyageli. Abiyageli. I am telling you. Oh no. Oh no, can't just that. Come. Don't think this is this is the end. I will deal with you. Please, shut up. <laughs> Now tell me. Stop that! Abi Ageli! Abi Ageli! Nani! 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 You must be careful with me, Abi Ageli! Come here. Baba. What did you do? I, I swear I didn't do anything. No. Baba, I am very, very sure I didn't do I don't have anything to do with the prince. Baba, I swear, I swear I didn't do anything. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you do a thing like that? On whose permission? Father, it's my life. I don't need your permission to leave it. Did you just speak to me in that manner? Are you out of your mind? Father, I have been trying to make you see reasons with me. I've been trying to make you understand. But you wouldn't listen. See what reason? What nonsense are you saying that I'm Uma, the elevated priestess of Uma, came to you? You want me to believe that? No, do, do you think I, I am stupid or something? Father, I am not a baby. I can't just wake up and start fabricating stories. I know what I'm saying. The priestess, Amuma, goddess or whatever she is called, visited me. She's the one that knocked me out. Well, I, listen to me. One thing I will never tolerate is to allow anybody to distract me. In a time like this, you are getting married to Gebemuma, who happens to be the daughter of the Ono. This is my decision, and it is final. But it can't be final. Yes, you can't be overruling at the expense of my life. What? What? What are you saying? No, I mean, what nonsense are you vomiting? How many times have we gone to see the SMO in his obi that he ministered to us? How many times? Didn't he tell us countless number of times that everything is working according to plan? So where is this fear coming from? Father, I am not afraid, but I'm trying to make you see reasons with me. Why are you not taking me serious? Because there is nothing to be taken serious here. You're only talking like a child, and I don't know why. Father, you can't play a blind eye. No, 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 no. You are the person who possibly has lost his sense of reasoning. Yes, that is why you will stand before me to say this nonsense. Does it mean you still don't know the importance of you getting married now? Father, I know you want me to get married because you are afraid I might suffer the same fate as you did. But trust me, you can't force this on me. Unfortunately for you, you are up against Ezofiana Sonkata of Amanato. I am that king who can force anything on anybody. And I am that king who can break anybody. And I'm telling you as my son, don't provoke me. Don't force me to break you. Father, is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? Why are you bent on me marrying Ugebo without asking what moves me in the woman? Because the Ugebo we are talking about is an electrifying beauty. And I want you to look at her. Every time you keep saying what moves you in a woman, look at Ugebo one more time. The way a man should look at a woman. And trust me, you will see something in her that will move you forever. Most people misunderstand God's blessing. It's not by appearance, I feel it by merit. Kimanka, imagine God's No, don't tell me to calm down because I've been coming down for way too long hoping you will understand. But no, he sees everything as a joke. No. He does. He's not. 
I had dreams, disturbing ones that kept me awake most nights. I told my father about it and he did absolutely nothing. Rather, his major concern is for me to get married to someone I don't even have feelings for. Who does that? Don't be a channel me. Listen, I'm tired of this. Okay? It's spiritual, it's beyond you can see. I will not marry Ugebwe. I didn't mean to hurt her, I didn't mean to hurt you, but truth be told, I will not marry Ugebwe. You all should stop. I need break. <laughs> of this nonsense, don't you go? What is wrong with you and your son? My husband, your majesty, this is a very serious matter. And you're treating him with all level of nonchalance. You don't even Listen care. Listen to me, the only thing that is serious here is your son insulting himself and not me. Who is he to go ahead and dismantle a structure I set up with, between him and the daughter of the Ono? Have you bothered to ask yourself how that young woman is feeling? You know, of course, you are a woman, so I expect you to know how that young woman is feeling right now. Yes, I know. I'm a woman. I can feel in her pain because I know exactly how she's feeling. Okay. But I'm afraid of losing a son. I'm afraid. My son's safety is more important to me than every other thing. And my concern here is that we know what to do to, in to just avert this impending danger. Listen, that is about to overwhelm us. You know what to do, but you don't want to do something about it. I beg you. Let's do something about it. What is wrong with your jugo? I mean, what useless interpretation are you giving this? What? Your Majesty, I'm afraid of losing my child. My son, my only son, our Obiechina. And my fear here is that you know what to do, but you don't want to do it. Please. Listen to me. You are not about to lose your son. What I want you to do now is to go and talk to that your son. The same way he stupidly and foolishly dismantled a structure that I set up. He has to go and undo what he did. I am the king of Amanato. Nobody goes against the rules that I have set up, not even my son. So you have to go and tell him that he has to go back to that same woman he rejected and fix what he has destroyed. He has to do it. And he must do it. Your Majesty, does that mean you've not been listening to me or something? You have not said anything at all. I am telling you, I have just given you an instruction, direct instruction, and I want you to go to your son and deliver this message exactly the same way I have given it. I know what I am saying. Do you know him before? Papa, I didn't know who he was at that time. Can you just, can you just answer the question? Have you or have you not met him before? I... I... Shut up! And go straight to the point. Answer the question. Stop beating about the bush, Miko. What is wrong with you people? Why not allow her to answer my questions? Mm -hmm. Amarajo. Papa. Have you met him before? Yes, Papa. Ah Hola, Papa. Bani, Refi. Akuna, Fugo. Okay, it says he finished here. Mwana. Okay. But... I have met him before now, but I didn't know he was the prince. Yes. He wasn't dressed as one. Mm. And he didn't say he had anything to do with the royalty. You are very stupid. See, Amra, you are the most stupid person I've ever seen in my life. Who doesn't know the prince of Amanato, even if he's dressed in rags? Thank you. Eh? Tell her. You are just painting a lie to make it look as truthful as possible. I'll do it on the possible. You have to believe me. Don't call my name! Don't call my name! Mama, Papa. I swear. Hmm. I didn't know he was the prince. Who would the prince want to do with me? Hmm. 
What would I want to do with my sister's husband? Shut up your mouth. I didn't know he was the prince, I swear. Mm. You have to believe me. Mm. Next thing you will tell us you don't want to convert your sister's husband. Mm. Oh, good, see, I Nonsense. Rubbish. Nenia, you're just like your mother. Mm. There's no difference. Just as sneaky as she was. That's how she snuck into a married man's house. Hey! And got pregnant for this girl. Sure! So there's no way she will not be like her mother. In short, she is worse than, than her, her mother. mother. Enough, Obia No, no, she put pepper inside my eyes. Okwagi? Nem. Obia Gili. Obia What is wrong with you? Would there be a day people will pass around here and they will not hear voices? They will always hear voices. Because we have a witch, witch in the south. She's the witch. And until that witch is killed, nah, I got an bottle and Yes. Begging. But you know what? Why tell them because I'm not here? Let us go. Okay. We'll deal with her. Nka bumbido. Agaracha must come back. The battle has just started. You have drawn it. You mwage. Idiot. I will deal with you. Deal with you. If there is nothing going on between the prince and Amara, as she said, that means there must be something else going on that the king wants to use as a distraction. I won't let that happen. I must get to the root of this matter. Your Majesty. Our people have this saying. When people have understanding, they can communicate with science. That's true. But this has gone beyond science, Your Majesty. And I can't picture it. What is going on? I want to know what is going on. Why must the prince reject my daughter like that? What has she done? I expect a man of your, of your status to rise above sentiments and understand issues the way they are. The way you are presenting this matter is not actually what it is. Don't tell me what it is, your majesty. Because when I returned to my house yesterday, I met my daughter wearing, crying out her eyes. And when I asked, I was told the prince did it. Why? Your Highness, you made a promise, you remember? Or have you changed your mind? I remember the promise I made, I won't lie. But trust me, I can tell you, that I am doing everything humanly possible to ensure that the right thing is done. Then why are you condoling the attitude or the insult of the prince to my family? What are you expecting me to do, or no? Hang him because he rejected your daughter? Oh no. Why? Listen, there is always a time when we must have to rise above sentiments and analyze things the way they are. We are talking about a man here, and a man has the right to take a decision, especially on an issue that has to do with his life. Your Majesty, not on this issue that has been decided. Not on this issue. It has been decided. You and I know why this alliance has to be. And I am doing everything humanly possible to convince him. I try to convince him every day. Your Majesty. Do not wake up the sleeping lion. Your majesty, do not make me to voice out because if I open my mouth, it will be funny. Hold on, hold on, no. Are you by any means threatening me? No, 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 let me, let me understand this. Oh no, are you by any means threatening me? Your Majesty, Ekweko Amaba is not a man of too many words, you know it. 
I am not threatening you, but reminding you of our agreement. Pushing you forward to do what you need to do. Good day, Your Majesty. When they move so fast, something will always bring them back. I am the king and nobody must move ahead of me without my approval. <laughs> Look, there is a reason I hardly will mingle with maidens in this land. Their hatred and jealousy is so much that they can just kill somebody for nothing important. God! Unako, why are you telling me all this? I do not mingle with these girls and you know that. So what's with all this? Listen. This is not my problem now. The only issues I am having is that my sister feels that I planned it all. Look, forget about that fool. I am happy about the news making the rounds. Oh. Unako, don't tell me you were so glad about the misfortune that befell my sister. <laughs> and you still call yourself her friend. Leave that peacock. She's not my friend. Look, I wonder why you're still living in the house. If I were you, I would just leave. I'll leave. Leave the house and go to where? I do not have anywhere to go to. I am alone in this life. It's okay. Your Majesty, you must calm down. Overthinking is not good for anyone. How can I calm down in Shianyoko? when everything is going wrong. My house is on fire as we speak, and the man whose house is on fire does not chase after us. How can I keep calm in a situation like this? How? I, I believe that is the reason you call me here. As your friend, talk to me, please. You know, my son has been having this dream since he was a child. The complaint has been coming and coming and coming. Even now, he is still having the same dream. And then his mother had this disturbing dream again. I told you about it. Then suddenly, he dismantles his engagement with your know daughter, thereby severing the ties with your know family. Something is wrong somewhere in Shianyoko, but I cannot pin, I cannot pin exactly what the problem is. Your Majesty. I feel you should consult the gods. Are you by that trying to tell me that Ezemo is hiding something from me? Oh, your majesty. Ezemo is just the priest of Jiko deity. He is not a seer. What we face here requires the services of men or even women who minister on Ugili. Your Majesty, you don't need to continue closing your eyes on the whole development. You need to tackle it head on. Then in that case, I think uh, the only option is for us to see Jelly. Your Majesty, you don't have any problem. You don't have any problem. Leave everything for me. Okay then. Ishiya Nyoko, I, I know that you have always remained a very devoted friend. And I can always come. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, you can stop now. Wait. You're not serious, are you? Do I look like someone that says something you're not sure? Are you are you sure you heard well or you're mistaken? The gist is everywhere in the community. The prince called up the alliance and said he wasn't going to marry her again for reasons best known to him. Hi! Hey, good news! This is best news ever! Good news, you see? Yes! How? 
Which part do you not understand? The part where she's no longer the next queen or the part where it is good news? Atego, mm -hmm. this is no good news. It's bad news. At least, if not for anything, she's our friend. She's broken emotionally. And then, this is shame. Think about the pain her parents are going through, her family is going through. Yes, it's a bitter thing for her family. That's true. But for her heart breaking, that heart can fall from the tallest Iroko tree to its doom. I don't care. Bianwuka, you talk as if you drink sometimes. Do you drink? Have you forgotten the way she treated us? She treated us as fields who don't deserve to breathe the same air she breathes. Who does she take herself to be? Who does she take herself to be? See how the mighty has fallen. This one is nobody's doing, no. She brought it upon herself. At, At least feel for her, she's our friend. Was our friend. And can we stop talking about that girl? Let me remind you what you said the other day. That peacock has called the maidens into war. And she's going to feel the brunt of that war. End of quote. Now, she's feeling the brunt of the war. Wait, I don't understand. Feeling, don't call my name. Mm, I just said what I said. Please, I have no hands in what happened to her. There is no issue what kind here. Of thought is that? The only issue here now is that she has lost it. She is a loser and we need to go and tell her to her face that she's a loser. Come here. Where are you going to? To your father's compound. My friend, come back here. Don't you have shame? At least she wants answered to be princess. Who, who are you? She Get has lost and we need to tell her to her face Don't that she's a loser. Don't sing that thing and follow me. Rubbish. She has lost. <laughs> Where my mother's barrel? On how you buy it, eh? You will not agree that I'm your Is friend. Is this one a bed? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with this one now? Because you want to talk about the part of the day. Listen, Ugebwe. It's not you, okay? Oh, my friends. Please, please tell me what I have done. You're not telling me anything and it, it is killing me slowly. Listen. It won't work, okay? Why? I can't understand what, what you're saying to me. Why can't you tell me why the marriage will not work? I mean, none of what you have told me makes sense. All right. If you marry me, trust me, you will end up regretting it. I am not complaining. And listen, I will never regret being with you. Never. I'm saying this for your own good. I don't want to subject you to any kind of misery. My prince. You deserve better. My prince, I deserve you. Let me be the one to worry about that. Prince. Now you are sounding desperate. I am not desperate. My prince, you are my life. Your home is my home. Look, if I don't be with you, I will die. I, I, I will... I, I mean, something might happen to me. My prince, please, you have to... Let's make things work like it used to. Let's call it spade a spade. It won't work. I can't marry you. Stop pushing it. It's beyond you can see. Well, I will never let you go. I will never let you go, Bechina. You are my life. You are my betrothed. I will fight till death. I will not let you go. Never. You will not let me go. There's your one come. Come and pay my home price. I need a full lady. What did they say? I mean, what have you found out? The prince has committed no offense against the gods. Are you serious? He has not? 
So why will a mama appear to him? No, why will a mama visit him and instill that level of fear in him? Why? What did he do? What did he do? They have not answered the question, but I have another information. What other information? The prince is free to marry. He is indeed free to marry. And remains the only one who can stop himself from getting married. Your Majesty, this is good news. Indeed. <laughs> this is good news. Usually I like the sound of that. And now I am not disappointed spending the kind of money I spent to bring you here. Thank you very much, Ijele. Nano. Presence. I know you're here looking at me. Show your face. I said, show your face. <laughs> Amuma, is this you? I know you. I know you as one who doesn't hide. I know you as one who doesn't scare people. Or have you changed? Have you changed? Oh, is it what you did to the young man? Scaring him or making him too? I saved his life. Ijeli, the same life you put on the slab to be cut into pieces. But I said only what I saw. Amuma, give it to me. You know I don't mislead people. <laughs> Ijeli. We all know you as a renowned Mayan reader. You told the king exactly what you wanted him to hear. That is not exactly how it happened. Ijele, he paid you good money for your consultations, didn't he? That was why you lied to him to gain favors. Ijele, you are calling me a liar, Mama. Give it to me. You know I'm not the type that deceive people. Ijele, swear to the sacredness of Ugili that what you told the king is exactly what you saw. Swear. The young man had done nothing wrong. But his father did. And you saw it and you decided not to say anything. But what he did was a long time ago. He has forgotten about it. How then will you punish the son with the sin of the father? Hmm. The iniquities of man will be visited upon generation and generation. He will die. That's what you want me to tell a man? You've set a trap for him already that he can never maneuver. He marries in this kingdom, he dies. He marries outside this kingdom, he loses claim to his throne. That's wickedness if you will ask me. His father took the life of another. That of an unborn child. The tears of that woman and that of an unborn child 
shall never go unpunished. He has a choice, life or death. But he is holding the piece of Amanato. Does he deserve such a punishment? Lord has been spilled, Jenny. Life squeezed out of the innocent. Who is that deity that will let such go unpunished? Eugene! You know what to do. Do it. Far be it from me, Onizi, that I am trying to cut your excitement. But there is a problem. What is the problem? The prince. He cannot go ahead with his marriage with Ugebemma. How do you mean? I mean, why? What is it? Once an alliance has been cut off, the two people cannot come together to marry themselves again. Eh, uh, but I'm aware she and your that they can come together again. That is, if the person who called off the alliance vacates himself or herself, yes, there could be a sacrifice or sacrifices that may be required, and I am sincerely prepared. What I want to do is that I am going to force my son to vacate himself of this very terrible decision he has made, and then I'm going to provide money for the sacrifice, or even sacrifices that may be required. Onyeze, it is not as easy as you've just said. The prince, having broken the alliance, if he vacates his decision now, he will need to select the same maiden in a ceremony that involves other maidens. You see, Ajoko, a ceremony where the prince will select a maiden as wife from maidens that are gathered have not taken place in Amanato in the last 100 years. Are you not aware? And that is because we have not had such scenario in this kingdom where a prince will wake up one morning and cancel his alliance with a maiden. We need to save the prince and the land. Ishiyanyoko, I don't understand why you are trying to make this process to be so complex and complicated. Onyeze, it is indeed very complicated. But a way out is the first selection where the spirit of the departed daughters of Amanato will be invoked to monitor what happens. If the prince selects a maiden, that maiden becomes the queen immediately. You know what? You have my approval. I want you to issue a statement on this immediately. Get that published. In fact, with the seal of the king, put that notification as urgent and important on the leadership platform of Amanato. Let them understand that the king has approved that a ceremony should hold in Amanato for the prince to select a maiden, fix a date, and then I want you to appoint a woman who will organize the maidens? Oh, oh, I think 
think I know who is emitting it all. It's, it's not it's, smelling. <laughs> it's her. Hi. It's her. The almighty Ugegbe. Oh, let me rephrase. Her royal highness. Her royal foolishness. Chai. The rejected princess. Mm. <laughs> Ada, leave my way. So tell me, princess, how is the prince doing? Oh, let me guess. You are no longer betrothed to him. That means Umuka and I will no longer have to come and clean the palace every day. That's nice. <laughs> I can see you obviously have problems with me. But you see, Ada, I am not in any way ready for this. Because I am, I am really upset. Okay? Just leave my way. And if I don't... It's okay, it's okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, but no, no. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. Calm down. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. And if I don't, the tigress in you will devour me. Well, I would love to see you try. You think you're the only one who is angry? I am angrier at everything and everyone than you! So what do you want to do? Take your pound of flesh? You think I won't? After all the awful ways you treated us this past years, you think I won't? Beautiful! Shemi? Ah! Shem <laughs> shy? Oh, we supposed to give me. Ah! <laughs> Shampoo! This is Shampoo! <laughs> oh my god! Chai! Yeah, yeah. No, no, she thinks it's by it's, it's like to open eyes and nose. Hi. <laughs> Shameless! It's okay! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Tell me you went to visit the prince again. I did, mother. I did. I cannot just accept defeat. I want my man back. I, I, I want him back. Listen, the alliance is over. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. Just stop visiting him, please. No, mother, no. I cannot accept that kind of defeat. Especially now that those vultures, uh, they, 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 they've sharpened their teeth and are ready to devour me, mother. I will not accept that. Ugobo, listen. I wanted to fight back. Then I realized you have rules concerning that in our tradition. But I do not care about your rules. I do not care about your rules. I want my man back. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. In Amanato, once a man declared no interest in a woman betrothed to him, he stands. Especially when he has not had any canal knowledge of her. He stands, and nothing you can do about it. Or are you trying to change what you told me earlier that he has not slept with you? Of course he has never. I trust and believe in my daughter. He has never slept with her. <laughs> Unako. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Unako, what are you doing here? I thought you said you would never step foot into this compound again. I am not here to see you, Gabe. I am here to make an inquiry for you. Yes, go ahead. I am listening. Okay, thank you. And Unako, something just broke out of the And I understand it has been published in the leadership club in the first round. Well, I don't understand what you're talking about. 
following the recent development from the royal home, the king has decided that the prince will pick a wife by selection. And by this announcement, all the families whereby the prince can pick a wife are meant to prepare their daughters for the selection. Madame Udoko has been announced as the one that will prepare the maidens for this task. This is so unfair. This is so unfair. My daughter has hardly recovered from the emotional trauma she found herself in when the prince broke up. And just within this short time, they want to select a wife for him. It's not fair now. Eh? Nani, it's, it's not right. It's, the king is being unkind. I'm sorry, ma. I, I'm sorry I came with such news. I was just curious. I think I, I have the answers to what I seek now. I'd like to take my leave, please. Thank you, sir. No, you're not saying anything. Father. You're not saying anything. No, you cannot let this happen. You have to do something. You, you, you cannot let this happen. You cannot, you cannot let this happen, Father. You cannot let this happen. Well, uh, I am still studying the whole thing. But you should have known that what a man will do is hidden in his heart. even mean? How can he do this to my sister? Who becomes a fate after now? Honestly, Your Majesty, I am not comfortable with this development. It is not even up to a week your son, our prince, rejected my daughter. You already planning Bryce selection for him. That is not fair. It, it, well, I, 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 the only thing I will continue to say is that I am sorry. I apologize for whatever pain my family must have caused to yours. But we need to understand something or no. We cannot force the heart of a man to be where he doesn't want his heart to be. Can't you understand this? But your majesty, that is unfair and insensitive. He did not even give a concrete reason as to why he rejected my daughter. Eh? Or did he tell you and you are yet to tell me? Well, apart from the one I told you already, he has not said anything new. And that is that he is no longer interested. We, we, we should be able to understand this thing or no. Are we going to force them to come together as man and wife? Of course, we can do that. As you know, who and the king, we can force them to become married. But they will not be happy in that marriage. It will be creating problem for the two families. Is that what you want for your very beautiful daughter? And if I may add, or no, I already asked the king to work on the prince. Uh, so you can select your daughter. Sincerely, that will be a beautiful ceremony if it happens. You're saying this because you're not the one directly involved. Do you even have a daughter that one can break her heart? I am asking you. Rubbing it on my face will not do you better. Neither will it change the course of life. Oh no. I believe that this is what destiny holds for both of them. Look at the bigger picture. Open up, open up your understanding and see this as a man. Go and prepare your daughter for the ceremony. You never can tell what the gods are planning. She can eventually be the one that the priest will select. And you can you stand before anything and swear that 
you are so certain that this is not what the gods want for, want for your daughter? It could be. Shear up as a man in authority and stop frowning your face. Eh? You never can tell what the gods are planning. Why you? Calm down, my good friend. Calm down. I should do what? Participate in the selection? But Nani, it is not fair. I mean, how could you agree to that? I did not agree to it. No, Guinness. In fact, I stood against it. But then, there will always come a time when it will dawn on men that they cannot make any headway in an argument. But well, this is this is no argument. Is it not enough that I have been ridiculed? No, 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 no! no. I, I, I have now. I have to compete with others for his attention. A man who I'm, I'm betrothed to. Don't think of it like that, my dear. How do you expect me to think of it, Father? How? This is an insult. And you know it. He feels like we cannot do anything about it. That's what he feels like. Stop thinking in that direction, Gabriel. Yes, it might be an insult. But it could be a sign of good things happening to us. Who knows? He may eventually pick you that day. Pick me? Someone who told me categorically that he doesn't love me? How would he do that? Well, um, I think your mother has one or two things to tell you. Please don't listen to her. No, no, this is quite frustrating. One or two things that what? I have taught her everything she needs to know. There's nothing more to teach. A man who has not come to the end of his job will not assume the tax has ended. All your teachings are for her to get closer to the prince and become the queen. And that has not happened. You should not be thinking of resting. <laughs> Think of what you can do before that maiden's blood take the place of your life. As some of you may already know, my name is Oduako and I am your organizer for this selection. As some of you may have heard from your parents, this selection will lead to the emergence of the next queen of this kingdom. And the process begins with this occasion. So I ask, is there any question before we begin? Okay. <clears throat> before I ask my question, I would like to plead with us all to allow me to build my foundation with some freelance questions for a general response. Number one, in Amanato, do we allow one stick to pierce our eyes twice? No! Number two, anyone who has failed a test in Amanato, do we still allow that person to keep wasting our time? No! Oh. What is the meaning of this? Go straight to the point, please. I am sorry, Madam Uduak, but I see a peacock in our midst who has failed this test. And her failure mm -hmm. is the reason why all the maidens here have this opportunity. So I ask again, do we still allow this one who has failed before to keep on wasting our time? No! no. Oh, my no. no. Listen no. up, all of you. No. Just listen, no. calm down, listen to no. me. Listen, all of you. We are here for a sacred process that's supposed to lead to the emergence of the next queen of this kingdom. This is not an outing to make caricature of anyone. And so I'm ordering you to withdraw that question immediately. I withdraw the question, but I thank the gods that I already asked it. And everyone and the peacock here heard it. But I withdraw. I withdraw. It's Thank <laughs> you. 
it again. What is it? Why are you crying? What happened? Mother, going there was a mistake. I felt like the ground should open and swallow me. Adego. Adego, I hate you so much. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't say things like that. It's not nice. Now, stop cursing and abusing and tell me what happened. Mother, you needed to have been there. They were making chests at me. They were, they, were, they were saying things. They were just so hurtful. Yes, but... Mama, it, it, there is no but. It's just awful, Mother. Why, why do I have to go through all this? Why do I have to live like this, Mother? Why? Why? For how long will I keep doing this? I can't continue. For as long as it takes, my God. You should know that nothing good comes easy. It will soon get better. Will it? I encourage you never to give up. Hmm? For how long? Mother, for how long? Listen to me. Life is not always easy. But whatever we go through molds us into what we eventually become. Mother, why can't things just happen naturally? Why can't he just come and marry me? And I don't have to go through this trouble. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Mother, you needed to have been dead. They said this. It's okay. Man propose what God disposes. Oh, Gigi, Gigi, my no more. Most people misunderstand God's blessings. Greetings, my friends. Greetings, Medina of Amanato. I was actually on my way heading to the palace to see you. I hope all is well. No, everything is fine, my prince. I, I just wanted to give you this. Food. Yes, my friends. It's a special delicacy I learned from my mother. I just wanted you to try it out. I hope you will like it. I will make sure he returns your flask. Thank you. It's <laughs> Ijama, my prince. Mazia Kudu's daughter. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness. Greetings, Marina Pamarata. How are you? I am fine, Your Highness. I am Adego. Adego, how are you? I am fine, Your, your Highness. I hope I'm safe. Yeah, yeah, yes, Your, your Highness, you're safe. Um, I, I just came to see you and I I, I brought this, this for you. You brought food for me? Yes, Your Highness. Why, Ellen? Well, my prince, you, you are a handsome and a righteous man. You are the dream of many maidens of this kingdom. In fact, my prince, you are simply an epitome of goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, thanks. Drop it here. Relax, my chili garden or something. Uh, um, no, 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 that's not necessary, Your Highness. I, I brought this for you. I, I made them myself and I hope you like them. I like it. Oh, oh, wow, wow. That's, that's so nice. I, I, thank you. I was hoping you would like them and... Drop it here. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't worry, they'll bring something for you. Okay. No, 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 Your Highness. That's not necessary. Relax, they'll bring something for you. That's not necessary, Highness. <laughs> you, you don't have to. 
not to do that. Your Highness. <laughs> And what is the meaning of this? So it's not enough that I have to share his attention with things like this. And you have to even bring yourself to him so that he can fall for your cheap tricks. And what are you talking about? Oh, she's asking what I'm talking about. So you want to lie about it? Well, I saw the two of you. I saw the both of you. Man chaser. Man chaser! That is exactly what you are. Me. Yes, you. Man chaser. You heard me right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you really must be out of your mind. Mm. And who the hell do you think you are? Oh! <laughs> I like that question. You know, I like to flaunt it. Well, I am the Princess Rejected Beyonce. Bride? The Princess Rejected Bride? Now, stop parading yourself in this village as if something is going to happen between you two. And for your information, I do not lie. I mean, how can I lie about something as good as that? Being so close to the Prince, looking up to his handsome face. His smiles and his flesh to me. Now that's something you are never going to have. Mm -mm. Not in many years to come. Why? Because after the selection, I, Adego, and no one else will end up as his bride. <laughs> Did you hear that? Now, if you don't mind, I declare this meeting over. And if you try this next time, I am going to pick you up from the ground and throw you into the evil forest where you belong. Now get out! You are the one to leave. Oh, ow. And the prince will never choose someone like you. He will never choose you! It's yours! Ma! You stupid girl! I hate you! I hate you! And what are you looking at like that? I don't understand. Why did you, 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 you frighten me like that? I was frightened. You. I gave you fright. Umoka. <laughs> it's unlike you to get tattooed, except you're doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? No, you go ahead and tell me. Well, there's no law that bans anybody from admiring a very handsome prince. You downloaded the images of my prince? You admiring him? <gasps> oh. What is with my prince? Shouldn't I? I mean, the young man is so fine. Oh God, I know you better than this. Oh. What is all this? I know you be better than this. Am I the only one? All the maidens in the village have been trooping in and out of the palace. Mandi Wago chef. Mandy will go cleaner, just for the prince to notice them. At least I still have my self-respect intact. Wait, what did you just say? Maidens admiring my prince? What maidens? What is with all this my prince, my prince, my prince? Prince of Amanato. How? Oh. Everybody's prince. Father. Oh, wow. hmm. Where did you get this from? It's looking like a royal apparel. And your father cannot afford it. How would you know? How would you know? Because my mother once served at the palace. She was in charge of their clothing, so I know what I'm talking about. Well, it may look royal, but it's not. It's just a gift for my handwork. From who? Why do you ask too much questions? Must you know everything? Please, I came to call you for, for practice. If you're ready, let's go. Oh, this is becoming too much. 
Less privilege. Every time they are dashing, dashing. Why, why do you have a problem with collecting things from people? You are poor, yes. But it's sometimes if they give you, say no. My friend. One kega kazinjo, every time you are collecting gifts. Are you envying me now? The person took your measurement very well. Hey, hey. my friend. Are you, wait, are you envying me now? It's not about envy. It's about self-respect. Hey. It's a gift. What is wrong? My friend, are you, are you envying me now? <laughs> of this what kind of dance steps is this i think we were sponge dance from this process i say this because i have seen what you girls are dancing there are no traditional dance steps in this you're dancing at all all you do girls do are this uh, my modernized dance steps but trust me even if you dance this way on that day you'll be thrown out what is the meaning of this give her why are you not dancing don't you want to be here I don't think they will let me. Dee, are you here because of anyone? Why will any maiden prevent another from dancing? I don't, I, is everything okay? I've observed how quiet you are and you are always on your own. Are you okay? Are you fine? Why would you say that? I can understand how you feel. But you see, there's no way you will get chosen if you don't participate actively in this. To get chosen, you will have to try, okay? Try first, okay? okay. So go on. on. Alright, music. <laughs> Wrong. Don't you know simple dance steps? People like you are the reason Madame Uduaku complains. That's enough, Adego. What did Ugebe ever do to you? Why do you hate her this much? Do me a favor, Ijoma. Learn how to shut up, especially in matters that don't concern you. You are crossing the line. If anyone is crossing the line, that person is you, Adego. Yeah. How dare you? Who gave you the right, the audacity to speak to my sister in that manner? She didn't even make her head. <laughs> who, who is talking? Nobody. Who is talking? Nobody. The bastard slave? <laughs> what called you here? Don't you know that in matters like this, strangers like you are not supposed to venture? Don't you know? I may be a nobody, but she is my sister. And most importantly, they will know which to that. Reason you should learn how to speak to her. Amara, or whatever they call you, you... Hey, excuse me. Before you give remarks on other people, take a look at yourself. Yes. Look at yourself. You do not even qualify for this. So you do not have any right to speak to my sister in that manner. Understand? Madame, Good. Go. Baby bingo. <laughs> that serves you right. Next time, you will learn how to control your mouth. I will break you into two. <laughs> what is this one? It's okay. Don't Are you that. serious? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You must have some nerves. You must have some nerves to do what you just did. Who gave you the right? Who gave you the right to intrude into my personal affairs? Who? What? First off, you made the prince lose interest in me. And now you come up here acting like a saint when you're a devil. Give me water, you don't touch me. I'm your sister. Sister. 
Amara, you can never be my sister. Never! Give way. You're just, you're just a bastard of some useless man. That your mother got pregnant for without telling us who the father is till date, until her, she died a miserable death. I've always knew that you're bad luck. Amara, you are bad luck. You are doing the same thing your mother did to another woman. The exact same thing. What am I even expecting? No, what am I even expecting? You are your mother's daughter. What's the saying again? Remind me the saying. Snakes beget snakes. Now let me tell you something. Once I become the lawler of this kingdom, I will throw your likes to where they belong. And that's the evil forest. Okay, me. I can't really believe the level of hatred Adego has over Ugebe. I thought they were best of friends. <laughs> what has been happening between those two? I doubt if they were ever friends. They are always fighting. Hey, Joma. Something must have really blown out of proportion for them to be like that. Definitely. These two were more than close. Before Ugebe even knew what being betrothed was all about. Honestly, I blame Ugebe for everything. You know she's too proud and arrogant. I hold her responsible for whatever that is happening between them, between the books. I know she's really proud. But you don't need to blame her for everything. Man. I do. Why am I even wasting my precious time discussing this too? <laughs> Hi, girl. Hey! Hey! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hey, hey. Amanda. Amanda. Longest time. Yes, my dear. How are you, girls? Yeah, fine. fine, you, my sister. Hi. Marriage is definitely treating you so well. You can say that again. My dear, I thank the gods for giving me such a man. Mm -hmm. ah, he's so caring, loving. Ah, <laughs> exactly the man I dreamt of as a husband. Hi. Yes. Hi. <laughs> That's good. I would have said you are missing out in the ongoing royal branch so. But seeing you this happy, <laughs> I have no choice but to be happy for you. I'm jealous right now. I wish I'm in your shape. I'm happy for you. Seriously, I don't miss at all. In fact, I am glad I married before all this. I can't imagine me, Amanda, competing with the maids of this kingdom over a man. A man who may or may not end up as mine. Or the impossible. He is worth it if you ask me. He is the prince. And whoever he chose amongst us will eventually rule this kingdom with him. And I pray to the gods that I be the lucky person. <laughs> Hey, what you, did I say? The lucky person. <laughs> and what am I? Uh, Wait, oh. to you, Prince, who look at me <laughs> from head to toe. Ugoma, a beautiful dancer like me. <laughs> and come after you. <laughs> As <Asking> Guinness. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, oh. Did you just compare yourself to Nibu Ijoma? Yeah. Did you take a very good look at me? Eh? Did you see my waist? Like, have you taken a very good like, uh, look at my waist and I'm dancing? Hmm? Eh? You want to compare it to this flat thing you have over here? <laughs> in love, Mao. Look very well. Someone just made full of herself. Did she just say waste? Son, let's show the world. Who's waste? Does it mean when you are dancing? Hmm? Let me even ask you. 
Is it all about waste? Is it all about waste? Mm -hmm. Ijoma, what can you possibly do with this useless <laughs> abandonment? It's a dance contest. Oh, it's enough. It's enough, it's enough, girls. It's enough. Uh -uh. I don't even know why this has to come up now. It has its way of turning sisters against sisters. Not to mention friends against friends. Seriously, I wish the prince went ahead with his marriage alliance with Ugube. He would have saved us all this stress. Huh? Mm. What did you say? Went along. Marriage. With that useless, arrogant Ugube. idiot. And we, her subjects. Ah. <laughs> Merry God forbid. They have forbid it already. Mm. Yeah. Because they went ahead with it now. That was why the prince blatantly rejected her. Yeah. Anyway. I wish you girls best of luck and success. But whoever the prince chooses against you two, I hope it does not jeopardize your friendship. Well, I have to go. My mother in law sent me on an errand. <laughs> My regards to Mazi. He will hear. I dare take care of yourself. So, Badro, you people should visit sometimes, oh? Ah. Don't fight, though. I know you might not even choose any of these. Well, I'm wrong. I'm the only person in the house. Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, Papa, can I bring your food now? Yeah, don't worry, I'll have it later. <laughs> uh, come back, Yama. Sir? Why do you have a trace of tears in your eyes? Tears. You have been crying, right? What is it? Oh, Papa, I, I've not been crying. I was not crying. Amara, you are lying to the Unobu. No, Papa, I'm not lying to you, sir. I was washing at the backyard. I'm not crying. Amara, do I look like I don't know what is happening in my household? Haven't I told you that this is your home? That you have equal rights with a uh, Ogewe. You have Papa. Good. Can you now tell me what is going on? I'm not lying. I'm saying the truth. I'm not, I'm not crying. <laughs> it's because I'm not laughing. I'm not. I hope you wouldn't keep anything from me. If there is anything I hate. It is failing in my responsibility to fulfill my promises. I'll keep that in mind, Papa. Good. You can go. Thank you, sir. What are you doing here? My prince. Stop. I am here to relieve you of your stress. What stress? My prince, I know you want me. I am here for you to take me. Hmm? My prince. Ah! Get out of this place. Ugebuem, what is wrong with you? Do you think all this will make me love you? Um, no, 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 no. Um, My dear. Um, My prince, you have been doing this with other maidens. Why is mine different? Where did you gather such nonsense from? I have not been doing anything with anybody and I cannot do anything with you. My prince, you wake up one morning and you called off our marriage. How do you think I have been living with this? Listen, you were betrothed to me. And all this while I have not gotten married to you. What makes you think I will marry you now? My prince, I am glad you know you were betrothed to me. 
I have now turned to an object of ridicule amongst the maidens. I have to fight for your heart, your attention with these half-baked maidens. My prince, you don't know what you're doing to all me. Alright, alright. I will make sure no one insults you or ridicules you in this community. Are you fine? Means no, you do not understand. All I want is you. You are my life. You are, you are everything to me. I have grown to love you. You Please. keep saying you love me fine and good. But the question is this. Do I love you in return? My prince, that means you're not even going to select me at the selection ceremony. That's what it means. You're trying to force words out of my mouth. Relax. On that day, we always see how it goes. If you choose me, if you marry me, we don't have to go through this process in the first place. My prince, there's no need for all this. I don't need to be fighting attention with these maidens just to, my prince, understand me now, please. Listen, let's call a spade a spade. You were betrothed to me from child, fine and good. But listen, I don't have feelings for you. I can't marry you. Yes. So stop wasting your time. Come off it. My prince, I cannot be fighting. Your attention with these half baked maidens now. Because, no, no, my prince, please now. Please try and understand. Who is there? My prince. Prince. Obiechina. Nya. Obiru. Ayechina techi. And Obiru. Ayadana dada. Nya. Obiadada. My prince, I know that you are busy in there. But the king asked me to come and call you. Immediately. My prince. No. I was the one who ordered the ceremony for you to select a bride. But I can't remember asking you to get stupidly acquainted with all the maidens of Amanato. What are you doing? Father, I don't understand. You don't understand? Listen, your movement, your activities with all the maidens of Amanato has become talk of the kingdom. Men and women are talking about it. Even market women are talking about it. And I called you here to ask you, what are you doing? Or do you think I have not taken a notice of how they are coming into this place? All in the name of getting into your good book? What, what, what are you doing exactly? Father, are you sure you are not judging this matter wrongly? Why are you saying all this to me? Listen to me, I am not judging anything wrongly. I am only trying to advise you as your father. A decent man must not go into the record that women are keeping. When they want to discredit a man, they will say that that same man is the one that is leading many of them on at the same time. You need to understand that women are very sweet, but equally they are very deadly. And when women, when they kill a man, most times, if not all the time, the corpse of that man will, will not even be seen. For proper barrier. Father, with all due respect, I am not leaving any maiden. I have been avoiding them from a distance. You need to trust me on this. Considering what my father told me, seeing that maiden is the only thing I'm avoiding. Yes, but she warned me to stop coming to see her. And she might run away if I ignore her one. She feels Ubiobo is the one for me. I'm hot and thinking. Something will happen soon. Yes, something will happen soon. Oh, 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 oh. Chicken, I see, cocky, minnow. 
you may leave, I will send for you when I need you. I can sense the breeze of an unfriendly force. Who are you? I am the king of Amanato and I refuse to be intimidated. Show yourself. Man has no wisdom except the one given to him by the gods. As of your nasson, Kata, I came to ask you, why then do man cheat the gods with the same wisdom? Are you making a direct reference to my personality? The prophecy was clear, and so was the mandate. You cannot run away from the repercussions of your sins. Sins? I don't understand. Uh, what sins are you talking about because I have not committed any sin? What have I done? The sins of man can never be forgotten. No matter how much he tries to block his conscience. The sins of man must always find him. And yours has found you. I have not committed any sin. And I cannot think of any atrocity that could be attributed to me. What sin are you talking about? And what mandate are you talking about? I am the king of Amanato and there is no way I am going to provoke the gods in such a manner. The dreams of Biachena has had since birth. You have not asked questions as to why and how. You're so engrossed in getting him married that you've not asked questions as why he has been having sleepless nights. Amma, please. Can you be lenient enough and explain these whole things to me? I, I need to know. And I can confide in you that indeed I am very confused. The wickedness of man has its consequences. And you shall face yours as of an asongkata. do I have with her mama for her to pay such a visit? Gods of my ancestors. What is happening? Go and call Prince Obyeshina for me. Sorry, Your Highness. But the prince is not around. He left a while ago. Okay. Then go to Ishii Ayako's house. Tell him that I want to see him here. Now. Yes, Your Highness. I know it may sound like a lie, but I tell you that this is the first time I'm eating something nice in a long while. 
And still, the prince of our land is chasing after you, and you asked him to stop. Una, please. I am not what he wants. You think it is marriage? The more reason why you should have followed him at his pace to know what he wants. I know what he wants. Really? Yes, and I do not meet up to any of those requirements. Oh. My sister is the perfect woman for what he wants. Yes, you should go build a relationship with her and stop disturbing my life. Please. The fact that you keep telling him to go build up a relationship with that classless peacock, it means you don't even love him. I'm gonna eat your food. Listen to me, Unako. And listen very carefully. Hmm? I'm listening. Number one, I never said the prince loved me. He wasn't chasing after me. I don't know where I'm getting all this chase from. And I do not love him too. I didn't tell you that. Mind your business. Okay. Mm. Uh -uh. Mm. This is very confusing. Onyeze, why will Amuma want to electrocute you with handshake? Is your way? I don't know. She said I committed a sin and that uh, the mandate and the prophecy have, have come out. I don't understand. What prophecy and mandate? You know how these extraterrestrial beings, how they love to speak in riddles. I even begged her to explain things to me. I she didn't explain anything. What is it? Judging from what has happened, I believe that Prince Ubechina was telling the truth. He indeed was visited by Amuma. The question now is why? And that is why I said for you. I think Onyeze, we need to ask questions.
I am very happy today. So very happy. You know, Em, I was really thinking that I won't be able to pull off that dance. But I did! You're surprised, aren't you? <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Munka! Hmm? What is wrong with you? You're not happy. What kind of talk is that? Which one is you? You're not happy. Miko, I'm very happy. I'm just not... Um... But you've not been talking. What is wrong with you? Because I am tired. You don't see me killing myself there, dancing nonsense that, 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 that almost cut my slippers for me. Yeah, sorry. Come, I used to be a better dancer than you are. So what happened? Well, that's what you get when you have supportive cousins. Huh? I visited my maternal home the other day and my cousins taught me a few dance steps. So right now, whether selection or no selection, I am so, so ready for it. Okay, but I will still be coming for attendance sake. <laughs> then there's no need me going there again, right? by young man. It's obvious I will not win anything. You can say that again, my friend. No need to come. You might not win. <laughs> you might not. serious that imbecile that good for nothing seer how dare he your majesty according to him he told you what you wanted to hear he feared you wouldn't accept it in all honesty so he lied so he made me believe a lie all this while and it was on the account of what he said that I allowed even this election to take place. Now it is clear that I've been I've been threatened on my son's life. Unyezi, what do we do? It is obvious that Jele has set his boundaries. He wouldn't want any further involvement in this matter. Mm. What do we do? Do we consult Ezemo? Is he a the selection ceremony is around the corner. And I think the best thing for me to do is to concentrate on that one. When we have come to the end of that ceremony, then I am going to summon the SMO. Hmm. Are you sure you know what you're asking? I am obedient to a very powerful force called Omonye. He is not as lenient as any other force. Go home. Think about what you want very well. I am sure of what I want and that's why I'm here. I trust his ability to help me achieve my aim. I am sure of what I want. And you're willing to pay the sacrifices as demanded by Omonye? Anything. So long as I become the queen of this land, anything is possible. This could end badly. I don't care. Whatever the sacrifice is, I am willing to pay it. Very well then. Obu ye luku mo ne miyal, ya bo. O kangi kuku no kanga mo, ya bo. Abo kita ka bo ofo, adike we la tinde mo naka. But I can't find a money to do more. Speak. Bonya is listening. Obonye, I do not want Adego to become the queen. I want Adego to be permanently removed from every selection. Anything it takes, I would pay. Very well then. Obonye, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's a walking. 
Ije wa ni manage ndemo uje wa. Ije na. Meko si ku. Udo. What's going on? Why is everybody moody? It's Adego. What happened to Adego? She was found this morning in her bed, dead. <laughs> Adego is dead? Yes, she's dead. What? What happened? Nobody knows what happened to her. Nobody could explain, not even the family. Such a thing full of. Adeko is dead? Are you okay? I can't believe Adego is dead and gone just like that. <laughs> My sister Amanda. What exactly could have really happened to her? Mysterious. Just yesterday, oh, she was full of life and today she's dead and gone. Sister, such is life. I wonder how Mwoka is taking that news. They have been best of friends for ages. I met that one earlier today, and she said she wanted to rehearse alone. From the way she was sounding, I doubt if Adego's death hit her harder than it did some of us. Of course, it hurts her. That she wanted to train alone does not mean she is not hurt by what happened to her friend. Boy Joma, sincerely, I am not surprised something like this happened to Adego. Who knows who she might have provoked that ended mm -hmm. her life this way? Why are you sounding like this? But now? it's true now. It's true. You and I know the kind of person Adego is. The reason you came here is still what I'm wondering. I left you people's rehearsals because I didn't want any distractions. And yet you came all the way to look for me. Unka, calm down. I, I wanted to speak with you. Talk to me. Yes. About what? I heard about Adego's death. I am really sorry. So sorry. You're sorry? Yes. Are you sure? Of course I am. It is a painful death. Yes, it is, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are happy. You're happy because you never liked her. No, why, why, why would you say a thing like that? Yes, we didn't agree most times, but I cannot wish her death. It's not possible. I cannot even wish any human death. Yes, she was my friend. But I'm glad you used she was your friend. Because that was a long time ago. You hated her with everything. You must have noticed how well she danced. 
and then you eliminated her. Now you have come to look for me. Even after I am hiding in my father's compound, just so you won't see me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you in any way implying that I, I murdered Adego? Okay, okay. Wait until I get the evidence. I will disgrace you, eh? The one the prince did to you is small. I will disgrace you that you will not come out to peep. Oh, Head. Head, hmm. oh, Guinea. It's a former. Oh. A former. Huh. A former. Wait, wait. The same year you said we'll win the selection if it will be based on dancing. Exactly. Ujie. That one. Uh -huh. What happened to her? My sister. She was raped yesterday. Chimo! Raped? Nebezi? Yeah, in Amanato. So you've not heard all this one since? Joma, hmm? how did it happen? No, wait. Who did such a thing to that lovely, sweet, quiet girl? She was ambushed with her friends. They all managed to escape except her. They found her in the night in the pool of her own blood. Hey. This is big time abomination. Abomination, sister. But my question is who could have been this heartless and wicked at the same time to do this to that girl? That is the same question everybody is asking. I mean, I don't understand what is happening again. First, it was a day goes there. And now, our former has been raped. <laughs> and this is automatic disqualification from her from the selection. <laughs> Someone is behind this. <laughs> that one, I don't know. And I don't even want to know, like I'm not interested. My own is, this selection should do, come and go. Let us at least know which one is killing us now. This whole thing is getting out of hand, my sister. It's getting out of hand. Two days. In two days' time. Two days old. All this will be gone and forgotten. My sister, please let me run along. My mother sent me on an errand. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you later. I'm not even safe here that I'm alone. If they can rape a former, who am I? Hey, which way? Which way? Where was I going? Hey, poor. Hmm. Mother, I'm very surprised that what happened to a former. I'm equally surprised. Hmm. It's a sad situation. I don't know why the gods allowed it, but uh, the deed has been done. The most important thing here is that she is not dead. I really feel for her. But, on the other hand, I am... Um, I think it's for the best. Mother. Yes? Why would you say that? Isn't it obvious? With the exclusion of Adego and our former from the competition. 
you stand a better chance of winning. None of the other girls can compete with you. So, the prince will definitely have his eyes on you. Mama, don't make me start seeing you as a sadist. Oh, please. I mean, what will you say, a thing like that? <laughs> Baby, I am looking out for you. And I know that what I'm saying makes sense. <laughs> I didn't send anybody to rape anyone. For the gods to have allowed it there. Who am I to... Who am I not to be happy? Okay. I agree with you. They're all sad news. But, on the other hand, they're still good news. Mother. One maiden dead, and another maiden raped. Should I proudly still call myself the incoming king of Amanata? And see claim I don't know why these things are happening. Maidens are fighting because of me. They hate themselves because of me. Is it really worth it? Prince, Obiechina, Nya, Obil, Ayechiechi, Obiadada, Nya, Obil, Ayadanatada. I greet you, my prince. My prince, Ichie, Anyoku. Is here to see you. He said he came on your invitation. Make him comfortable. Come. Yes, my prince. How will I start this conversation? How will I start this conversation? Do you know who you visited? Do you want me to come hard on you? You are very wrong. How can you say I visited you? How can I ever visit a man like you? In a very short sentence, why are you here? I was on my own when the woman who identified herself as a Bibelku Amanato visited me. It was her who sent me to you. Are you serious? The woman you mentioned is a deity. Are you aware? Now I understand. There was this intimidating aura that arrived with her. It was for this same aura that I have decided to deliver the message has given. What message did she give to you? She said you were the one that killed the maiden that died. This maiden in question, I do not know. And she further instructed that you should proceed immediately to be married to that same maiden for nothing less than 20 years before you think of getting married to another. Why, why would she say a thing like that? I mean, how can someone marry a dead woman? A dead woman that you killed! <laughs> Do not forget to add that. I have delivered her message. You are a Dibia. And I believe you know how you communicate with the spirits and deities. Consult with the deity that visited me. And she will further explain to you. I tried my best to stop this. Why didn't I stand my ground? I... Hmm. 
It's you. I am having this conversation with you because you are the one who told my father about the selection. And that is because I thought you have experienced the woman in that meeting. It would have been a disaster if we had allowed you to leave her like that. It's you. I swear on my life, I have not experienced the woman in that meeting. Yes. She has thrown herself at me countless times, but I resisted her. Impressive. So, what do you want? Ichie, because the foundation of the selection is baseless, I want it cancelled. My prince, why do you want to cancel the selection? Because a maiden was killed because of this selection. Another one was raped because of this same selection. Now my question is this, is it worth it? Is it? No. So let's cancel it and have peace, simple. And um, my prince, uh, you don't have interest in any of the maidens. So who do you want to marry? Become my friend by convincing my father to cancel the selection. Then I will tell you who I want to marry. What are you trying to do? Relax. Relax. I'm doing the right thing. Really? The right thing? You want to disgrace me in the presence of everyone in Amanato? Is that what you call, you know everything? So you want to belittle my sister and the other maidens? You were supposed to choose one of the maidens. How come you are doing this? I'm just trying to save the lives of our maidens. Yes. I can't sit back and watch our maidens kill themselves because of me. My prince, this was supposed to be a fair contest. Madame Odoku already went a long way doing this. Why? Listen, I don't like this. I want to go out now. Relax. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sit. I was asked to pick a maiden who will automatically become the next queen of this land. That I have done so everybody should respect my decision. From this land you said, I am not from this kingdom. It doesn't matter. It does matter. You'd lose your crown and you know that. Listen, I don't care if I lose my crown. I don't care what happens. The most important thing is that I love you. Yes. Ever since I set my eyes on you, you've consumed every thought of mine, including my decisions. I love you, Amma, and that's what matters most. I'm sorry this is happening this way, but trust me, I can't take side with my father anymore. Greetings, my prince. Prince Obiechina. Nya Obil Ayechiechi and Obil Ayadata. Nya Obiadata. What is it? My prince, you are summoned by the king and the council. You and the medium immediately. Fire. Shut up. Your name is Amara, right? Yes, yes, fine, yes. 
I gather you are on a good servant. A niece to his wife. A young woman. Without any father. Automatically, with no name. Your mother did not provide any information concerning your fatality until she died. And even as we speak, nobody knows anything about your paternity. The only thing we got to know is that she was in a relationship with a man of Bodona. And there was no evidence whatsoever that she met with a man of Amanata. On the strength of that alone, we can say that the information of Bodona is actually true. Father, I don't know why you are visiting history, but the truth is, what you are saying is not necessary. Will you just shut up? We are not the same person that asked to shut up. <coughs> why are you speaking when I am still talking? Be very careful, don't provoke me. And you? You may not be from this town, yes, but your mother was from here. This place can be good to be your maternal home. And you grew up here. You lived all your life here. Therefore, you know our custom and our tradition concerning a prince who decides not to marry from his land. You don't know? And you still trap my son. You still shout my son to the extent that he canceled the selection we have been planning for how many months now? How dare you? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I... Shut up! Shut up, Amara! I should have known. I should have seen it. Even when my daughter and wife were so adamant that you have this austere motive, I chose to believe you. How dare you come back and spit into my eyes, Amara? Oh, Amara, the gods will never forgive you. Enough, Ono. Yes, enough. With all due respect, you should learn how to choose your words carefully. What? Especially when you're talking to a woman. She used to be your servant, fine and good. But she is now my wife and the future queen of this land. So talk to her with some respect. That can never happen, my friends. Never had it been reported in the history of Amanato that a strange maiden becomes the queen of this kingdom. It can happen. Change is constant. And neither will Amanato have a murderer as a king. Oh no. Ndiche, did you hear that voice too? Mm -hmm. Or am I the only one? Yes, I heard it too. Sounds like a woman's voice. A woman with power and authority. Hey, you shut up! Shut up and say what you can defend. A woman with power and authority. What are you saying? I am the king of Amanato and I am the only authority in this land. What other authority are you talking about? Of an son, Kata. You have committed a sacrilege. And I warned you, but you chose your little wisdom of that of the gods. Sacrilege? What sacrilege are you talking about? I will leave you to minister the revolution. I know when to come back. And you! You believe it has been forgotten. You believe that the sacrilege you committed years ago has been forgotten. They are up for judgment. And now... As a Muslim, finally you found your voice. How many times have I come to you and you refuse to say anything. Why are you talking now? 
Nji got order that you should speak to this man in council now. Oh, he will begin to kill you. And your entire family would be wiped off from the face of the earth. Eventually, you can stop all that now. There's a more place. Can you make it easy for me? Can you, can you give me a clue? What exactly are you talking about? Obiechina, you ask why you do have those dreams. You ask why Amuma used to visit you. It is because of the sins of the past. The sin of one man. The sins of which man? Ezemo, what are you talking about? You change the course of life by taking that singular decision. That one decision that do not only ruin the life of one person, but the entire kingdom's destiny. I don't know what he's talking about. Maji. She's dead. Killed by the palace guard. Under your strict and specific order. Your Majesty. What is he talking about? Why all this? What is going on? Mashi, I remember exactly what I asked you to do for me. I said, keep me company. I didn't ask you to become pregnant. Why will you become pregnant? But it's not my fault, my king. I did exactly what you wanted me to do. And now I'm pregnant from it. I already consulted one Alpha and she confirmed it's a son. What? A son? You are carrying a son for the king when the queen has not given him a son. Do you understand the implication of what you have done? My king, I am not going to complicate your life with this pregnancy. I'll carry it and nurture it till it grows. Just promise me you will accept him when he's gone. My wife is pregnant as we speak. Most likely, she's going to give me a son now. And suddenly, another strange woman will equally give me a son. And that son will start dragging things with my own son. This is not good at all. My king, you're not saying anything. Uh, and that is because I am thinking. I am trying to process the things that happened. You know what, Maji? I want you to go home. Go home and wait for further instructions from me. I will get back to you when I must get back to you. Okay? But in the meantime, nobody must hear anything about this. Greetings, my king. See. I called you here for something very important. Nobody must hear this. The woman Mashi that I laid in the guest house is finally pregnant. She is carrying a child. May the gods be praised. Shut up. What do you know? You know who told you I am excited with the news for you to start praising the gods? Listen, Udiago. Mwanyafa has already confirmed to that woman that she is carrying a son. And she's planning to use that pregnancy to make an inroad into royalty. And that is what I don't ever want to happen. I call you here because I want you to keep your weapons serenity. If your queen delivers, and the baby turns out to be a boy. 
Mashi will be silenced forever. What if the queen delivers a baby girl, my king? I will make a decision on that when the time comes. For now, keep your weapons ready. I remember what I said. Nobody hears this. I am Obiago of Amanato. The good weapon in the king's hand. I made a vow that any day I betray the king, that day I shall die. Look. Look. They need no magic. The very night you delivered your son was the same night he commissioned Obiago to go kill the woman. He lured her into a secluded part of the forest and ended her life. Is it more? Her corpse was found hanging on a tree. Does it mean he killed, he killed her and hung her on that same tree? Let me hear that. This woman, join Let him deny his actions. And the verdict that I announced originally will befall him. Two days later, he poisoned Obiago. So there shall be no trace of his evil deeds. You hid it from men. Can you hide it from the gods? You know we have come a long way. Make it easy for me. Please. Be, be go and marry you. No sin shall go unpunished. I leave you with Injiko. The central deity of Amanato. Obiechina. Don't you ever marry from Amanato. Without taking care of this abomination. Or you will die because of the sin of this evil man. Yeah. Evil. that evil. I, I did what I did because I was trying to protect my throne. And uh, I, 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 I not finished. Finally, I am losing the same throne. Oh, the man. Why not stay humble, Makanoa, to Yari? On Yamachi, who knows tomorrow? On Yamachi, so so chukuma. On Yamachi, no one knows tomorrow. On Yamachi. Do you want to kill yourself from the stress of crying? Mama, where will I stop crying? Where will I hide? Mama, he went ahead to choose Amara. Amara! I mean, Amara has never dressed in a way to attract any man. Why are you crying? You and I know that the king will not allow him to marry Amara. Mama! 
He went ahead to, to cancel the selection ceremony. And he, he took Amara, Mama. He chose Amara. How could, how could the prince do this to me? How? Even if the king says otherwise, he will still go ahead to marry Amara because he loves her that much. Mother, I am going right there. I am going right there to tell the whole community the kind of woman she has as a mother. I will not let this happen, mother. I will not. Okay, boy. I will not. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. It is not only the king that has lied and sinned. Oh no, is a part of this way. Hmm? What did I do? Concealing the truth and using it as a leverage to get the seat you never deserved is a sin, Ono. Oh Ono, oh what is she talking about? Uh, do I know? Um, ask her. You don't know? Are you out of your mind, Ono? Oh How can you say something like this before me? Talk to me like the man that has detailed information on the atrocity you committed. Of course you know you can't kill me as you killed Obiago. You and I know that what you know, I know it. So, let's go on with the business man to man. Okay. I'm listening. What do you want from me? Good question. As a of an asong kata, I I believe you did what you had to do for your throne and your family. But as for me, just a little thing, and we will be fine. No, we are not talking like no. I'm asking you. What is it you want from me? Good, my king. I want a relationship. Uh, we are already in a relationship like you know what the king. What other relationship are you talking about? A royal relationship with your family initiates a marriage alliance between my little daughter and your baby son. That's all. How is that possible? How can you say something like this? Oh, no. No, for how long have you been thinking this? Marriage alliances do not work with royal families. Are you not aware? What happens in a situation where my son grows into a man and fails to see his wife in your daughter. What are we going to do about that? As a final song, As a price for my cover-up for your crime. Initiate the marriage alliance first. When he grows and decides to reject the bride, then you use your powers as the king to flog him into the into line. I am prepared to work for you. You are also prepared to work for me. I can't believe this. Now I see the reason you've been forcing Ugebo on me. Darling, Baba, how could you? What did you do? I remember asking you about the alliance, and you told me that the king sealed with, with the staff of royalty because he loved me. He lied. Oh! The king had never met you when the alliance was sealed. It was merely to cover up a crime, and the gods have risen in judgment. 
Onyeze, you have touched us where it mattered most. Thank you, Lord. The king will leave the soil of Amanato and never to return. <laughs> and the future king can marry from wherever he wants. The staff of the kings can make a slave, a freeborn. And when the future king comes, he will decide what to do with Ono. <sighs> Baba, how could you do this to me? Darling, how could you? How could you do this how to me? You? you are wicked, you're a crook! You are wicked, you're a crook! <laughs> My grace, please! Please! Mother, beg your prince! <laughs> So all this has been happening in this kingdom and we didn't know. You know My people, the truth is what everyone needs, needs now. Which is? Amara, are you ready to know the truth about your paternity? You know, he's telling me he can't tell me. Iwe Zudo of Omumba Kingdom is your father. <gasps> what? Your mother confided in me before she died. Uh, Iwe Zudo. My of Umumba Kingdom. <laughs> that is your father. What? Oh no, you are a wicked man. How could you conceive such an information? She's even loyalty. Reveal it. My daughter. <laughs> my sister. My daughter. <laughs> She have told me. She was my sister. I, I, I had a right to know. I made a promise to her. And a man in my class must be committed to the promise he made. How did I end up like this? My sister I've known all my life. Turned out to be a princess. And the man that I have loved all my life ended up to be with my sister. Okay. What kind of life is this? It's not you, it's not myself, it's the gods. What kind of life is the this? Gods. Oh. Very many people. Oh, my dear. That is how the gods want it. Amara has never hated you. And I know she will not hold anything against you. Hmm? Our incoming king. Onyeze, Obiechina, Nya, Obil, Ayechina Dechi, and Obil, Ayadanatada, Nya, Obiadada, Onyeze, Obil, Ayechina Dechi, Nsil, No Bil, Ayadanatada, Nya, Obiadada, Ihe. You are beautiful as always. Thank you. Your Majesty. <laughs> um, you still haven't gotten over your father's death. Yes. 
My father was asked to leave this kingdom and never returned. But you know my father. He killed himself. It's not your fault. You see, he's dead now, buried. We just have to move on. Mwoka has confessed to her atrocities, all thanks to the deity of our land. Yes. She killed Adego and hired men from Akama to rape her former. As we speak, she is in chains and she has also lost her sanity. May the God forbid. Hey, are you serious? I'm serious. Let the dead bury the dead. Forget about these people. Let's talk about us. Come here. What am I supposed to tell your father when I finally meet him? I I do not know. I don't know who said he's going to talk on our behalf. Mm. You know, I know who is. A good man, though he did the wrong things. But please, I want to ask you something. Go ahead. Can you retain him as they'll know where you get the car? Please. I can't say no to a beautiful woman like you. Your wish is my command. Thank you. Yes. After seeing your parents comes our marriage. And after our marriage comes my coronation. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my prince. My father told me. I know that your father will be giving you out today. I want to be there for you, my beautiful sister. Look at you. Thank you. You look beautiful too. Congratulations. Man proposed but God disposes. Oh, Gigi, Gigi, the man, why you no more come here? Most people misunderstand God's blessing. It's not by appearance, I feel it's by merit. Kimanka, imagine God's Who just blesses is Almighty God. Makana is Oh, 